everybody. Welcome. Live build. Yeah. We're here. Adam Patrick Murray, Elena Yee. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. <laughs> uh, Dan Masaoka on yep, the uh, yep, yep, yep. the verticals and the horizontals, as uh, Gordon likes to say, and the chat. The X and the Y. Yeah. So be sure to uh, to chime in in the chat. Dan will be relaying your hot comments and questions. Uh, and uh, yeah, well, let's get it going. Obviously, we've already kind of announced what we're building today. We have two things: the Clockwork Game Shell. Uh, this is kind of meant towards like hackable people who want to run Linux and uh, learn how to to build their own games. But I'm not great at building games, nor am I that interested. But it will play retro games. You just want to play. I just want to play it. It comes pre-installed with RetroArch. Uh, I do have some ROMs uh, of games that I own, and uh, yeah. So this one takes a little bit of a time to actually build the pieces of it. Um, and then, uh, but the the easier one is uh, the the G Pi case. This one's my project. Yeah, this <laughs> one's a retro flag. You put a Raspberry Pi in it, running uh, ret retro Pi, and uh, just kind of load it like normal. Obviously, it's a little more less powered than a normal Raspberry Pi. Yeah, because it's running off of Pi Zero, right? Yeah, Pi Zero. So we'll see. Uh, and then this is this is my. Uh, this is the uh, retro flag uh, NES Pi NES Pi case that they had sent me uh, a Wait, while ago. Yeah. So yeah, the, this is. If anyone watched the previous builds uh, of our retro Pi stuff, this is this is still the one I'm rocking. And I was just playing it the other day uh, with my wife Lindsay, who I think is in chat. Hi, Lindsay. Uh, we were playing NBA Jam. Oh uh, uh, yeah. And yeah, I lost. Yeah. So this really one. Bad. Um, I think. Do we mention already? This one actually has the Raspberry Pi three in it. Yeah. Whatever so. the newest one, I guess. Um, it's the. Or is it previous? Yes, yeah, previous one. Oh, there's okay. a B plus now. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Do I need to upgrade? That's a good no. question. No. no okay. I don't think so. Not for what you're using it for. Uh, I'll also say that um, Retro Flag was nice enough to send us a uh, an actual. Um, uh, what is a Raspberry Pi Zero uh, with uh -huh. yeah W the wireless version uh -huh. with uh, the uh, I guess it's kind of blown out a little bit with the uh, the actual Retro Pi pre-installed so we don't have to pre-install the software which makes it easy and nice. My build is going to be super super yeah. fast. Yeah, we just have to build it. We got to load it with games. Uh, is that how it normally comes, or, no. or is that special for Adam, an Adam I think special? It's special for Adam. I think what you would normally do is go on the website, buy this, yep. which gives you the like shell, the LCD screen, um, and then you have to actually buy the Raspberry Pi Zero or Raspberry Pi Zero W, mm -hmm. um, an SD card, load the SD card with RetroPi, and then you're set to go. So yep. just a Adam VIP treatment. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think it was just me. The uh, other reviews on uh, the internet I saw. Can you say like uh, I know Adam? Adam I know Adam Patrick Murray. Do I get the VIP treatment? I, you should put the e <laughs> when you buy it. Email them. <laughs> Actually, they even even talk to me. These these fine folks at Retroflag who make great products and I do appreciate it. They've never even reached out to me. They've never. They just even, send it to you. They just send it. Like I don't even know how they got. I mean, I guess it's not that I mean, hard to get the to, to get our shipping people. address here, but yeah, yeah like it, so you know, good stuff. I, I have liked the cases of you so far, and, and I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, I got some some batteries. I got some tools. I got some USB cables. But most importantly, I have a Drake's 1500 that I need to crack open because it's a Wednesday morning here, Wednesday and you can't morning. have any build without alcohol. Uh, so yeah, Lindsay says hi. By the way, uh, hello, Lindsay. Uh, if you want to go a close-up shot, uh, Drake's 1500. It's a local brewery. Uh, this is the 1500 <laughs> Pale Ale. Uh, I like it. If if anyone's in the area and is looking for uh, for something, San Leandro. Yeah, refreshing Just yet yet crisp day. enough. You know that that's you know I'll go for it. Ah, there oh, we go. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's kick it off, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's inside this thing, I, yeah. It's like an unboxing for me. I haven't actually peeked inside yet. I've, I've peeked a little bit. Uh, I know what's in here. Sorry. I just yeah. I wanted to make sure I had all the pieces right. Um, so yeah, the game shell. Th there's a couple different versions that you can get from their website, but it all is kind of a full kit like this. Uh, so when you open it up, you kind of get everything in it. I don't know if you want to switch. Dan, um, but inside the um, 
Inside the case, we got some nice, uh, nice wrapped plastic parts. This, I'm not sure what these are. I think these are the. Looks like you're gonna snap that off. Yeah, these are little individual mm. modules. You know, <clears throat> maybe I should have got uh, clippers. I can get them from the wall. Uh, so it looks these these are like a, a translucent, or I, I guess I don't know how to describe it. These these are actually clear. I assume that maybe oh look at that you can tell that's that's for the actual screen because it's got a little border on it. And then this one is for. It says warning: hot plug is. What? Hot plug is inhibited. Not sure what that means. Oh yeah, and look, this is the cutouts for the actual uh, buttons. So it's a clear one, huh? Yeah, these these are clear. These are kind of like, kind of filmy. Okay. Uh, not sure. Tomo so. Prime was asking about rechargeable AA batteries. Yeah, well, we we have some uh, that we just got off of Amazon, so that's that's where we're going to be using. I don't know what brand this is. I e use EBL, Eneloops, uh, Amazon yeah. Basic. You know, there, there's there's plenty out here. Uh, step by step instructions. Which oh, we will need. That. Who needs the instructions? Uh, and then stickers. I'm not quite sure where these stickers go, but there's some interesting ones here. Uh, I I personally like the cassette ones, but they've got the the little uh, Linux uh, penguin, right? Which one do you think I would pick? Uh, probably this one with Japanese. Maybe the Hokusai. Yeah, I'd probably go Hokusai. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I That's, do racist, like this. Adam. That's racist, Adam. That's racist. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I like this one. These remind me of like little zip disks. Um, oh gosh, that I'd say more like mini disc, like you a Sony so? mini disc. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you, now you're really flying the flag. Yeah. Uh, and then their tagline is a highly hackable open source equipment. Uh, so I don't even know where these labels go, but probably in the back. And then there's boxes. I've heard that because the boxes aren't labeled, you kind of have to open all of them and know which one is which. Well, then you're gonna have to uh, refer to the manual. Well, no, that's the thing is that the manual, it tells you like box one is a screen, but there's nowhere on the boxes that say what number like, it They is? have these little things here, but this doesn't, it doesn't correspond. Oh, how funny. Yeah, so. It's a mystery. Uh, yeah. They're like blind boxes. Yeah, there you, you go. You have to open yeah. them. It's like Pokemon cards, right? You open them up and you hope you get a, a rare Pikachu. Um, have you ever done blind box collectibles? Where? No, yeah. not really. <laughs> if it, if it was like a cat thing from um, the, uh, uh, what is that? Well, you were into, uh, what are those chocolates? Those German chocolates? Oh, Kinder Eggs. Kinder yeah. Eggs, that's kind of that's kind yeah, of yeah, one. Okay, yeah, you know. you're right, yeah. you're right. Yeah. The, the original chocolate blind box. Uh, so what's in that one? And so I'll switch to... It's like a main board, or the main board. Nope, they're cables. So that's the battery oh, pack. Oh, it's the battery. Here are the... Well, let's maybe let's keep them together and, and get to this when this we get to it. This looks like part. Oh, this goes with the battery. Oh, okay. So yeah. So let's keep that together. Yeah. So that's not the screen. I didn't know if you wanted to show this. Oh, oh, sorry. To yeah. Okay. Uh, these look like lights or something. Some something. That these looks are a like, lot of looks, cables. That looks like the the um, the board for the battery. And Chico oh, yeah. River is asking, this is only for Raspberry yeah. Pi Zero, question? Uh, so no, no the, the clockwork, yeah, the clock, clockwork game shell has its own board. Uh, they, they describe it here, it's a, a, they call it the Clockwork Pi board. It's open source Linux, it's a quad core, eight, uh, cor eh, quad core Cortex A7 CPU, one gig of RAM, uh, the micro HDMI output. So, I mean, it's, it's very much, it's close to the power, I've heard, as a Raspberry Pi, uh, but it's different. It's their own thing that they've developed. Yeah, um, it's the other one that we're doing that has the, uh, that will yeah. support a Raspberry Pi. Oh, yeah, the, the, G -Pi, the G Pi is the Raspberry Pi one. Uh, okay. You so what's this one? This one is the input. Well, I guess Tomo Prime was actually asking, do any of these recharge AA batteries if you plug in like a USB cord into it? Oh, well, so the game shell has its own lithium-ion battery, as you can kind of see in the in this pack. 
Um, so this mm. this is rechargeable anyway by nature. But then you can't the, replace it with that one. You can't use double no, A's. Okay. No, that one has to to be plugged he, in. Are they asking if the unit itself can serve as a charger? Or yeah, I think so. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Yeah, no. I don't think so. I, I've heard that the G Pi case uh, it does have a micro USB, but I think that's mostly for loading games onto it. I don't think it's for charging the batteries. The plastic feels So I think you have to get rechargeable batteries. Handle that carefully. Uh, so here, here are the button, kind of the uh, squishy underneath of the buttons. Um, these look like Lego pieces. Uh, oh, there, here's the actual buttons. Uh, you got your D-pad, you got your face buttons, and then these little side things, uh, which I think locks the case down. Oh, I think this is and how it works. And these are lights. This is how the system works. Look. And what? One, one, two, three. And then I think how they stack them is probably A and B, right? Well, I already messed up. He shuffled them. them yeah, out, so. that's how it works. Because look, cause, um, oh, maybe not. Never mind, just kidding. They're not labeled that way. That would make sense. <laughs> Otherwise, there's no logic. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, logic. They, I think they need to hire the uh, IKEA uh, people. The IKEA people, yeah. All right, so do you want the light one? The other kind of medium light one or the heavy one? Let's go heavy. I bet the screen this is, is probably... pretty heavy. Because we've already got the battery. Oh, surprise. It's oh, no, this is the actual case. This is the actual case, yeah. So I know there's two different case options. One of them is just normal um, flat plastic, and the other one has Lego backs on it. So I, I know you can add stuff to it. Like there's like a lighting module oh, and stuff. Oh, is that what it's for? Because I would just pick that one naturally for the grippiness. Yeah, right. Well, look, you, you can see this says G, GPIO output and Arduino output. Oh, that's And these, these are actually, the yeah, closed one, off. Yeah. So, yeah, I think this one's for, like, other things. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm coming into this fresh. We're learning this As all new. Oh, this one. All right. Uh, this one, I believe, is a yep. There it is. The brains of the operation. And the screen. So the screen, we got a screen with a ribbon cable. Uh, very delicate handling. And uh, this looks like the actual logic board. Yep, Clockwork Pi 3.1 is what it says uh, right here on the board. Uh, and this is, I don't know. Oh, this looks like where the inputs are gonna hit. Mm, uh, yeah, the, the back. Yeah, the back of the button, so. Oh, cool. Uh, I guess we start with that. Also, I guess we have to actually take the plastic pieces out too. Yes, it, it, looks like, like, it looks like those are casings. Looks like we're going to need the screens housing. first. Um, but there's one more thing. Oh, oh. In this oh, yeah, the front. Wonderfully retro ivory color. Yeah, almost the beige ivory. You know that, that almost yellowed over time kind of look uh, mm -hmm. that Game Boys get. Uh, <coughs> I like it. It's a uh, Kind of iconic, mm. kind of retro. Um, that looks a little smaller. I don't think it's actually that yellow. I just think it's that kind of like 70s, 80s, like ivory, beige kind of color that was so popular. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Zero Limity uh, was asking Elena if you have a, a, your own Twitch channel? I, I will, because I have a project in the works right now. Okay. <laughs> That's uh, me streaming to Twitch for the first time, which I'm kind of terrified about, but we'll see how that goes. It'll be soon. It'll it will be, be soon. soon. Uh, so is there any indication? Oh, before I pop them out, it looks like these have numbers corresponding to oh, them. Oh, maybe that's what those numbers are for. Yeah, so, okay, so orient this one this way. I'm okay. sorry, I'm gonna redo this for you a second. So this one is B2, B1, B4, and B3. I don't know if you want to maybe like get a Sharpie and write on this plastic so that if you need to refer back to it, uh, you can. Yeah, good idea. Let me get a piece of plastic, or uh, I'm going to mute myself, Dan. Okay. If, if uh, Adam was here by himself, uh, he would probably have just started taking all the pieces off. Probably. Which is probably actually something I would have done, I too, to be I mean, fair. Come on, it, it, I, Gordon, <laughs> Gordon would have just started throwing stuff I away. I am so disorganized by nature that I have to overcompensate. Mm. So this is B, I'm not writing on the actual pieces, I'm writing on this plastic film. We're B1. Let's make sure that that's actually what we're doing. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Uh, B2. Maybe make also a note what it is so that way you can refer back to it. Well, I don't know what it is. Uh, just write in, like the word like LCD screen cover or like. Oh, that's too complicated. That's too complicated. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Uh, and then this one is oriented right, kind of. Yeah. I can do this and I can do it quickly. Um. Uh, battery. And then this is, wait, there's two things for the screen. Oh, are there two options? Hmm, we'll find out, okay. So there's a little chatter just kind of about the batteries. Do you prefer uh, being able to kind of swap them out yourself or do you like the built-in rechargeable kind of style? I prefer, uh, I'll just jump into this. Go for I it. prefer um, the AA style just because if I'm on the road and I need to switch out, I can, which mm. is not environmentally friendly, but I can always carry spares at least, I guess. I guess these days, though, you can carry a battery pack um, for a lithium-ion battery, true, but true. it's just so much more extra weight that, to me, it's not as convenient. Yeah, I, I would say I like the portability and size of having an integrated battery. I'm How fine with that, as long as it's a good, a good one, you know. Uh, so, I don't know. It depends on what it is. On this, I think I want the integrated because the the G Pi case one we get into it is quite large compared mm. to. Yeah to uh, the game shell. This is A5 right here. Oh, that's, oh, I didn't um, even notice this. Also, just as a tip for other people, if I was building this, and I'm not, you know, overriding Wow, wow. Sorry, I'm just saying. Backseat probably, builder. I would probably get a piece <laughs> of tape and actually write the numbers on it and put it on each piece uh. while I'm not working with it, so that way it's harder to lose track of, because like I said, I get really disorganized really fast. So I need B. Adam probably got a way better memory than I do. Uh, I need B3. Okay. <clears throat> And B3, M2, A3. So M M2, and I think, is one of these. M2. No, M2 is the screen. Is. Right? It's the one with the cable. Oh, yeah, it's the screen. It's weird because the bag doesn't say, so yeah. you have to refer to it. All right, so M2, yeah. B3, which is this guy. Yep. You know, let me get some pliers. If I can pop these out. In That's why we have tools on the wall, people. Just so kidding. We, we, it's mostly props. Would you like to do everything yourself, or do you want me to help you? No, go for it. Up? Cool. So I, I, I bet I want to sand these edges Actually, down. I let you do that because you have the clipper. You know, I'm gonna mute myself again. I, I need to get my Leatherman. Do does he really? I do. Is this just an excuse for him to like say he has like other stuff? I think so. Yeah. I mean, I feel like there's this quiet, like, <laughs> unspoken war between him and Gordon about like, what they carry. Like, they both carry knives. Yeah. They both carry, like, multi-tools. Yeah, I don't carry the multi-tool on me. I keep it in my bag. Mm. Uh, Did so you, uh, can you unmute, cool. uh, unmute yourself, Adam? Oh. Uh, I don't carry the multi-tool on my person all the time, like Gordon. I just carry it in my bag. Oh, it does uh, say here that you'll need side cutters and a modeling knife. A modeling knife? Mm -hmm. I think it's just an X-Acto blade so you can... Huh. So yeah, the, the plastic on here is actually pretty pretty thick on some of this. You can kind of feel it on the edge, so I'm just gonna... Whoa, your, your multi-tool has a file on it? Of course. Dang, I need to get one of those. Yeah, you do. It's actually pretty... Your project is way more involved than mine. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I need to do this. I just feel like I should. Yeah, I'm I mean, kind I would of, do the same. Yeah, it gives it a more polished look. I mean, this is all on the inside, though. I don't think this is ever going to be seen, but I'm worried that. I'm just going to say this right now. This is the worst ASMR ever. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that a is that the chat PC video World or ASMR? Yours? Someone mentioned ASMR earlier, and now just hearing this, this is the worst Should one that you can have. You. Let's just yeah, uh, like get a chalkboard. Right, so I'm gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna file. <laughs> I'm gonna file. I don't know how this sounds, but I'm. I'm doesn't sound it. good unless there's Does someone into that kind of thing. Yeah. So I mean, uh, here there's at PC World, here at PC right? World, we're we're filing. I think we're just better off like filing. eating pizza on the mic than than listening to this. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll stop. I'll stop. Uh, 
Oop, no, up here. Um, all right, so I got B3 out and filed. M2, and then you need A3, which A3. looks, A3 is right over there. And Big Mama in house says, good for a manicure, which is actually why Adam carries that around. Uh, Fun no. tip. See, Fun I, tip. I do take, a, as somebody who played, photog uh, played photography, played guitar for a long time, I actually always really kept my nails nice and trimmed. Uh, because of that, violin, yeah. yeah um, Otherwise, you cross over strings. Yeah, so I, I never, but I never filed. I'm, I'm good at trimming, but I'm I, I don't, don't file it get or anything. Snaggy? Like I always have to file a little bit just because otherwise it's too sharp. Yeah. The, mm, the, the, the way, the way I Adam trim, likes I guess it. I've I've done it <laughs> in a way that I don't know. It's Your nails are better looking he, than mine. He's saying you have poor technique, poor, Elena. Oh, yeah, poor, poor technique. technique. <laughs> uh, work on your technique, girl. Uh, Your nails still look way better than mine. I don't care about them at all. Uh, on the few times that I've had to go get a manicure, like I'm, a, I'm like in a wedding or whatever, the manicurist looks at my hands and they're like, "You should use some cuticle cream." And I was like, "I'm like, what's that?" I I do <laughs> use cuticle try, cream to be honest, because my cuticles get dry and then they hurt. Oh, you know. I don't have that problem. And so I'm. Not. <laughs> And I always say this, but whenever I go to Vegas, Vegas just wrecks my cuticles. Well, it's so dry there. Yeah. And then you're washing your hands all the time. Are you? Oh, in, Vegas? in Vegas? When you're in Vegas? Oh. It's, it's filthy. Oh. You're touching, like, the unwashed masses. Yeah. What are you like, doing? You're touching the unwashed masses. Oh, all the conferences. All the conferences. All the, you Vegas know, all the conferences. conferences. It's, it's like dirty. you're touching devices and everyone's touching them. Yeah. You're shaking oh, hands. Yeah. Okay. Or no, no, gambling. No, 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 I because I conferences. I don't go to Vegas for conferences. Fun. We go for work. CES, NAB. Yeah, oh, you're okay. touching things. Yeah, you're you're, you're touching laptops. Yeah. You're touching cameras. Ugh. It's I it's it. and you're just around dirty Vegas people. I wouldn't Sorry, say, I, see, no, Vegas. see, I wouldn't say the Hate Vegas people that. dirty. Yeah. I'm going to say the people who go to Vegas are dirty. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. True. The Good people who the locals are clean. Uh, are it's, they, are it's, they though? It's the, it's the, it's the other though? people. I think so. I will say, just even though we're in the early stages of our project here, yep. I like how all this is very modular because what you're really putting together is just the screen section. You know? Yeah, and I'm not quite sure why <laughs> it's so modular, um, to tell you the truth, because it's not like you're swapping parts out as you're doing it. So. I think it makes for a very unique look, though. Yeah, for sure. And it's harder to. All right. I think it keeps it more concrete. Like, All right, so let's see. Uh, so B three. B three. You're making a sandwich. Let's so see. B three. Orientation. M two. Like you're gonna have the you're gonna have the ribbon cable facing down towards A three, and poking out the bottom. There's only one way you can really go. So though. like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. The instructions, people. <clears throat> instructions, and I uh, I don't know how much care. Oh, look, it has a little screen. Does it say I need? That's to cute. I'm assuming I, I take the I screen protector off, right? I assume you're gonna have to take the screen That's, protector yeah. off. Yeah. All right. Let me let me Do fast, I put let me, it in let first. Let me jump ahead and just see how this goes. If it fits, it sits. It's weird because on the speaker section, it actually tells you to remove the protective layer, but it did not say that for the screen part. Uh, sorry, another question, real quick. Look, can I go back to the other one? Yep. <laughs> Which side <laughs> is the clock? Oh, this has the lip, so I'm going to assume it's this way, so it actually pulls like that. It does look like it's pulling down. See right yeah. here? Oh, got it, got it. Right okay. There. And are we sure that's a protective screen? <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is a... Uh, I'm not going to fold we it. We have to ask every time now, right? Oh, does it... Sit? How much... Because, look, I can, I can leave in a little bit of a gap. Well, it, I mean, I would just actually follow the diagram almost to the letter here, which looks like maybe a quarter or 20% of the cable is what's left there. Yeah, I'm assuming just a little bit is yeah. holding out of the lip, like that. Yeah, you might not want to actually put that all together and snap it in just yet. You know well, you gotta. Mean? Well, I mean, like, you can, like, kind of put the rest of it together and see how much of a um, yeah, true. Uh, lead you want on the cable. Okay. Um, and then this kind oh, of comes look, on this I end. don't think it does. You can tug it out, too, because it's... Oh, there. okay, okay. So, um, but if you're really not sure about it, you can always just kind of lightly assemble it and then actually snap it all together once you're sure. There's a little chatter about uh, Adam's cats. Um, yeah, I have my cats. Yeah, 
That's awesome. I think you should do a Bob Ross uh, episode where you paint your cats. Paint on my cats? No, you paint them. Oh, like a, paint a picture of, of your cats. <laughs> um, <laughs> live stream that. Your cats are so chill, though. They would probably let you do that. Mine, mine requires medication to be normal. Uh, yeah, BB is an amazing cat. I'm not gonna, I, I'm when, not gonna lie. When I do, do my uh, very quick build, you will see scars on my hands from when my cat has attacked me. Uh, so I have this. Okay, so you're done with that. You can put it aside. Wait, why does this, it looks like nothing's pulling out on that. That looks weird. I, I All think right, I'm just, just gonna put just it aside. Leave it aside. All right. All now right. we're gonna move to the main board section. So you need B1, right here. Oh, oh, the actual pieces. Okay, yeah. B1. Tim says, yes, paint on the cats. <laughs> uh, you know those color run uh, races? Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine that any cat would actually put up with that. And it's probably like really bad for them anyway if they try to lick it off their fur. What do you mean color run race? Have you seen that? Where they throw like the color at you. Yeah, as you're running the marathon. Yeah. I'm not sure the point of it. I don't, I think that would. It's very messy. I don't think a cat would like, especially. Through the nose, you know, they'd probably find it really That's irritating. True. That would be really bad. For Wait, why um, would you? Why do you want people to throw stuff at you while you're running? I don't know. I guess when you're done, it's very festive. Well, it's I not, think it's not that thing in India where they throw. It, the I think it's related. Colors. I think it comes from that. So I think it it does have uh, an Indian origin, um, which is uh, I think a festival. I only know about it because they do it every year. In San Jose, yeah. Um, I think over Memorial Day weekend, mm. so you'll like drive down there and you'll see the streets are just kind of full of like colored chalk, essentially. Huh. I think it must be tied to a holiday. Someone, someone in chat will probably know. Mm. Yeah, I, I would say if I mean I'm I don't like running marathons, nor will I ever probably. Uh, but the idea of doing it and then having somebody throw it at you, like I would just be like, dude, I'm trying to breathe here. Or unless the idea is you're trying to dodge the people that you're throwing it at, and then it becomes like a game. Maybe you you and Gordon should do a charity run. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> Gordon doing a... For charity? Yeah. Uh, wait, what's He wouldn't do them for himself. I already found M1. He wouldn't do it for a bet, but maybe he would do it for charity. At least I, like well, a, a 10K, I'm not maybe a 5K. I, I bet he would. I mean, he just hiked out of the Grand Canyon, and I heard that was... Very, very strenuous. Yeah, because uh, of the exposure. Yeah, but but running, man, running's a whole thing. My dad actually does marathons, um, and it's it's intense. That, that did not get passed down the. Uh, I, I, actually, I, I did run for a while there. I did enjoy running, um, but I was living in Phoenix and it got too hot. Mm. Uh, you don't want to run in Phoenix when it's. 120 out. I mean, nothing or run against, outside. Whew, I nothing say. against that the sound. actual like city and people of Phoenix, but I could never live there. It's just too dang hot. I, I loved it. Uh, uh, Tomo is asking if the cases include rubber cement uh, nope. or testers paint, or do you soak the decals in water? Or are they just like sticky, sticky? Decals? No, they're they're just, they're just yeah, stickers. they're just stickers. Uh, I have not seen any rubber cement or anything like that. This, this skeleton one is a very interesting one. Which one? Oh, um, I'll put it here for people to see. This is a skeleton with a, like a Japanese traditional art motif in the background. Oh, and a samurai. <laughs> That's uh, racist. What? I mean, literally. I, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Although maybe we should wait for your seal of authenticity. Uh, Dan, Dan is just a... Uh, I'm fourth generation, so I'm, I'm just as whitewashed as Adam is. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. That's pretty hard. <laughs> I'm no generation. You're what generation? I'm no generation. What does that mean? Of Japanese. Oh. He's fourth generation. I'm no generation Japanese. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't think I have any Japanese okay, ancestry so in my this. family. And then what you want is B1 on top. You're making another sandwich. So it's B1 on top, M1 in the middle with the ports facing down. And it makes sense because like of oh, how okay. the cutouts are. And Got then it. A1. Mm. The micro SD card goes in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to install the micro SD card once you put it all together. You might want to kind of 
kind of figure that out. Yeah, actually I did cheat and I heard somebody say they forgot to put the card in before they did this and they had to take everything out. So uh, does that mean we need to stop? So we need to put, put the micro SD card. No, the, the operating system's already on it. Oh, okay. So, cool. um, uh -huh. I don't know where that is though. Is it in here? Yes, it's in here. Oh, there it is, okay. So you said it. So the micro it SD card, way. in case you were all curious, it comes in the bag with the cables. Yeah, it comes in a whole different box, uh, which seems counterintuitive, but yeah, I, I'm I'm glad I caught that because yeah, I, I could see how that would be a problem where you have to just take the whole thing back Man, apart. Sixteen gigs seems like overkill for emulation. <laughs> I think I have sixty-four gigs in my <laughs> Raspberry Pi. I did ask you yeah. about that. I think at one point. Uh. We could combine everything where Adam and Gordon do a drunk run 5K slash color run, and we like throw color at them as they as they run. We'll just go to the alley in the back <laughs> yeah. and just have them like they loop the block back. like a hundred times we'll maybe. Just back yeah. And forth. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. We can get like yeah, everyone like our viewers can throw color at them as they run by. That's like a that's like a subscriber thing. Oh, yeah, maybe, like a, a variation <laughs> on the Klingon pain ritual. Uh, what, is, what is the Klingon pain ri well, ritual? Is that in Star Trek the motion picture? I never want to watch that. <laughs> it's the worst. Oh, okay, careful with the... Um, <clears throat> uh, what was I going to say? You the, know, like when you like walk down the thing and they stab, they stab at you with the pain sticks. But instead you're just throwing color. Oh. Dust <laughs> <and> <laughs> color <clears throat> like American Gladiator style, but like with oh, like... I don't watch that. Uh, uh, you you never of, watched American Gladiators? I don't think so. Oh. Uh, no, American Gladys was awesome. That uh, was like the best. So the you, original, the original. The, the, when they re-brought it back, it wasn't that uh, nearly as good. The uh, the decals on this plastic uh, point to the micro SD. Uh, the battery cable is going to go here. The speaker cable is going to go here. Uh, this is the headset, so the analog jack, uh, USB. It doesn't say what this is, but this looks like a mic micro HDMI. I think that's the micro HDMI. Yeah, uh, this is on off. Oh yeah, that's a little button. LCD screen, so I guess we're gonna plug the other thing in here at some point. Seems like it. And then KBD, what do you think KBD is? I the, don't know. The buttons? That's the only thing that's not on here is the buttons. All right, so we've we've done two pieces. I will line them up. All right, next. Out of frame, there we go. Next one All right, what's is next? the keypad. Uh, okay. So you're gonna need B2. B2. Oh yeah, look, KBD, so, keyboard, keyboard, oh, KBD? No big deal. <laughs> Is that what KBD, what? NBD. Oh. No, that's, no, with a K. Oh, uh, no big deal. <laughs> and what's the other one, A2? Uh, Worst joke K ever. A2 and M3. Um, M3, I think, is this board. There's, there's something to be said about the producer chair making bad jokes. Ah, uh, that's um, so what comes with it? Yeah, I'm gonna say mm. that's why I make so many bad jokes is because I'm usually sitting in, in a producer chair. That's true, you have not made a single bad joke yet. Uh, all my jokes right now, as I've been sitting in this chair, have been amazing. Um, yeah. Have you even made any jokes yet? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm batting a thousand. Gordon sent a leak and he put it in chat. I'm like afraid to watch. Oh no. Oh, no. no. No links in chat. Oh, no. If That's I click on it, will the audience hear it? Is, it, is the stream out of the computer? Uh, you have to unmute the uh, Chrome tab. So you're safe. You're safe from Gordon's okay. uh, prying eyes. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> is, he, is it like a... It's pro it's got to be uh, some Star Trek. It's a Star Trek the He's most in picture. He's literally right outside the door. Yeah. He's like just trolling you can hear us. Him sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> or the, the Gordon throat clear. Um, is this a song? What is this? Oh, I wouldn't be able to tell. It's, you, are you? On no, a, it's a it's a clip. It's a clip. I believe it to be safe that for work. Really is the worst ASMR. I don't know. Yeah. Somebody out there somewhere is enjoying it. Hopefully. One day. No one is enjoying it. Beatrice says you're the king of bad dad jokes, or, uh, uh, Adam. That is, uh, Dan, you know this person. That's the friend that's coming, uh, in a couple weeks. Oh. I believe. Uh, Deraps? The, the, yes. Beatrice Derappa? Derappa, yes. 
she uh, she knows my jokes are amazing. Mm. Uh, she stays with us when she visits, so she gets the full experience of jokes, um, and they're amazing. Also, side note, Dan. Yeah. Uh, longtime fans might appreciate this, but they probably won't know what we're talking about. Uh, Panty Party just came out on the Switch. Ah. Uh. So, you know, just saying, it was, a, it, was a, it was a favorite game stream of ours. Yeah. <laughs> Not um, that anyone remembers our, uh, no. our, our short-lived series called Color Bars and Pop. I mean, it wasn't that short. It was <laughs> just true. unwatched. Yeah. Uh, uh. So I, I, I keep using the compressed air because when I file, it does get a lot of stuff everywhere. Hmm. Uh, so what order my Oh, A2 goes down. Wait. Plus, one? using the air dusters is kind of fun. Hold on. Never gets old. You need never, to stop never. Too. Oh. It's a later step. It's step five. Oh, later step. Okay. So, so step I put. One is to oh there's the board so you have to put the board down into a2 and it faces down so it looks like the top part those are the contacts right there mm -hmm. and that faces up Got and it. then you see how there's this on the back of the uh, keypads i think these are what complete the circuit so it's gonna be this way yeah and beatrice and says that game is the best <laughs> <laughs> So there's little standoffs uh, that these kind of line up to, uh, which is nice. But, um, That's kind of an interesting button setup. Oh, I don't think I'm doing it right. No. Because well, if it, it folds, oh, no, no, no. Well, because, yeah, look at the button layout. This has to be backwards. Hey, what are you doing? This is backwards. Gordon says he ran the SF Marathon in 2001 with oh, a knee problem. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Wait, there we go. Look <laughs> <laughs> so Ooh, I, I, I sense another challenge coming on. Down there, so yeah. yeah. I had it backwards. It's because there's uh, the little there's ports on both sides. Mm. Uh, all right, so and, then and we don't put the buns on yet. This goes on top. Make sure that this, you see the little hole? It'll, this little uh, peg yep. right that's there. that's how all of them have been. Uh, and Oxypanda asks, what watch are you wearing? Wait, say that again, sorry. What watch are you wearing? Oh, this is, uh, I love this watch. This is the Fossil Q found, oh no, the founder was the smartwatch. The Fossil Q commuter, that's what it is. Uh, it's a hybrid, so it connects via Bluetooth to your phone, counts your steps, uh, gets notifications, Maybe you saw the hands move. Uh, I can I can do things with it, like start my podcast. Uh, it's nice. I like it. Uh, highly recommended if if you want a a smartwatch that isn't too smart. Cause I, I got kind of burnt out on on the LCD smartwatches. Yeah, the battery life just isn't as good on them. I mean, I don't wear my watch to bed anyway, so I'm I'm always fine taking it off at the end of the day. Mm. Um, you don't track your sleep. No, well, this kind of tracks my sleep a little bit. The, oh, I see. Yeah, it's not like amazing sleep tracking, but it does at least a little bit. Um, I, I care more about my steps uh, than okay, my sure. sleep and for tracking purposes. Step five. Oh no, this is a lot of filing. Dan. So you, I don't know exactly. I think you just clip them all out individually and put them down. Okay. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Although I will be curious to get your opinion on how well you feel it sits on there and if it like holds. If it fits, it sits. <laughs> I just remember being a kid and things falling apart because, you know, I touched it funny. So how do those buttons work? Are they, they're not like switches or like uh, they're no, not the, clicky there, at all? There, there is a spring. You oh, okay, can there feel is spring. the spring uh, in here. Or, okay. you know, maybe it's not a spring, maybe it's just the membrane. Yeah. Yeah, I think the membrane, it's hard to see, but the membrane is kind of like pushing it back like a spring, mm. and it's making actual contact to the pad. It mm. is satisfying. I'll be curious to see how, how you you think it feels compared to the original. Yeah, well, we, we touched the, the buttons on the, the G-Pi case, um, and the, the buttons themselves were actually pretty... Buttons are Pretty good. Nice. D-pad is. Eh. Yeah, the D-pad's a little eh. So D -pads we'll, we'll are hard see. To get right, right? I think. They really are. Well, and there's so many different tastes. 
Like I feel like a D-pad is definitely not a one size fits all. Like That's some true. people like cross type, some people like uh, the, the flat, uh, like the Genesis kind. Uh, okay, so this isn't too bad. Whichever one doesn't give you blisters. Well, Dan, you, you played fighting games, didn't you? Uh, a little bit. So, I mean, I mean, you're a D-pad guy, then. Uh, yeah, I, I never played enough to to for that to be a a major factor for me. I'm joystick all the way, so. You know, it's weird. Yeah, you just set it on there. Is there literally nothing else to put on top? It's probably the out like the, that's that's the top I'm, thing. I'm kind of concerned that if you jostle this too much, the buttons are gonna fall off. You don't think there's like a top thing well, that goes I mean, over once it? Once you put the case over yeah. it, oh, I it'll see. hold yeah. it in. Okay, that's true. That I think is. I mean, yeah. but still, the the amount of lip on the buttons is pretty minimal. I guess we'll see. Oh man, I'm glad you're doing this because I would probably not put them on like straight, and then I would just be annoyed. Well, there's only one way to do it straight. Oh, is there? Yeah, because okay, there's little notches in here. Well, that's good. Wait, so what's the button layout? Is it just like the Super Nintendo? Here, I'll flip it upside BA. down so you can actually. A, B, X, Y. All right, cool. Y, B, X, A, yeah. Yeah, it feels weird because it's, <laughs> without the actual case to, like, keep it lined up, it's a little mm. weirdly. Um, we to see but you can kind of yeah. feel it. It's it's not a bad hmm. press. Um, X. I, I do have to say that putting it together in this my level of de detail is kind of satisfying, even though I'm not even the one doing boop, it. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, okay. Big Mama is asking, where is the anti-static wrist wrap? Oh, it's right down here. It's over here. Yeah, cl clip it on. It. Uh, and thank you again, Steve from Gamers Nexus, for this amazing mod mat uh, that's keeping us safe. Just kidding. I, I don't think we have to worry too much here. B4, M4, and A4. I will find oh, M4 this is, for you. Oh, yeah, what is it? Oh, M4, okay, yeah. So these are the last of the large pieces. As a kid, did any of you ever take apart like the like one of those kind of like snappy like scripto lighters and use like the the igniter sh as a, like a shocker? Oh, dude, hell yeah! Like yeah, like you get the little like yeah. the little thing yeah. poking out and yeah. you just go t t and you, and then yeah. it shocks people. Oh man. My parents would get so mad when I did that. <laughs> I was thinking that I was just trying to think of like a prank. I totally forgot about that. To like man. put on you guys for like not using the anti static wrap if there was a way to be like, <laughs> you got shocked and because you weren't wearing the, the anti static. Dude, that's hilarious. Man, I haven't thought about that forever. I apparently oh. had a very, very sheltered childhood. I think you were just not as, as up to mischief as like us two probably were. No, like literally, my mother would not allow me near a lighter. Well, you I mean I well, like these are like I barbecue didn't... lighters. These are like the ones with the long. Even more. No, shiny. any kind of well, any anything that was like a clicky start versus like a scraper. True. So I always got it from barbecue. That's why lighters. I said scripto because that was like the kind of brand I, I associate oh, with see, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't know what that is. Once he said like you could ignite people or ignite. Like, yeah, yeah. ignite people. <laughs> <laughs> I I did not so, ignite okay, people. Okay, so Adam ignited people. <laughs> I I said shock, but Adam ignited people. I did not as ignite a prank. people <laughs> as a kid. Yeah, Actually, it was a prank, bro. I will say when I was uh. God, what was I, in fifth grade? I used to like go out into a field and like find like, a, you know, little old I'm wondering where this is going. I'm wondering where this is going. And just going. light it on fire. In the random field? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> you, you know, cause I mean the wet, yeah. wet grass doesn't light on oh, fire. Oh, I know, well, wet so grass. So you find the, oh, okay. you find the, you know, the, the dry This whole patches. thing sounds very dangerous to me. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah. I, I mean, used to, the thrill, I used to you know? light stuff, like, you know, small things inside of, of our um, like laundry room sink because I thought that was like a safe place to do it you know see, I was like I didn't even think about safety uh, see yeah yeah man. also I couldn't do it in the house I think I would be easily discovered yeah I usually be like oh mom dad I'm going out to play and they're like yeah whatever uh, I mean, and now, years later, yeah, they find out that their son was a little bit of a pyro. Oh, they, they already know that. That's, I think that is not new. Kids are pyros. I was not. Uh, Dude, I mean, who doesn't like fire? Yeah, do you like fire now? Not really. I mean, if there's a fire pit uh, on cold, sure. Dang. <laughs> yeah, do you like camping at all? Dan. Yeah, that's... Do you like camping? No. 
Okay. I feel like there's something kind of along the lines. Man, imagine going camping with Gordon. Like, I, w I want to see you and Gordon camping. Uh. Because Gordon, you know, he's all about that. I mean, he, he would be like, yeah, you have to make your own tent out of twigs. I don't think so. You don't think so? Nah, he's, he's not. not a he's not guy. a. Gordon has kind of a soft spot, though. I think like if he saw me struggling, he'd eventually. Oh yeah, like, totally, totally. Move aside. Uh, I would. He, he just he just hiked in and out of the Grand Canyon with like. But he he's about being prepared, so he's the opposite of the naked and afraid type. Uh. So, yeah. So you're gonna Gordon just, would completely wait, die yeah, on naked and afraid. Gordon, um, if you're listening, with, so A4. Prove me wrong. Oh, he's listening. I can hear him out there. Yeah, so A4. But you sandwich the, it, then put the battery in? Yeah, but you don't close the <laughs> lid yet. You have to cool. put the battery in before you close the lid. Oh, you know what? I wonder if these sections here is where the stickers go. Do you see what I mean? Well, under the battery? Or on top. Oh. You see how there's that square, that rectangle right there? I, uh, want, I think it might actually match the size with that. Yeah, maybe. That's how you yeah. personalize it. It doesn't say in here, like, where to put stickers? Not particularly, no. Oxy says they pulled a prank on their on their mom using the, changing the TV with their, with their phone. <laughs> as their mom. <laughs> Actually, I did that. And who did I do that to? My friend back in the day, uh, Peter Peter Wong, he used to have name uh, dropping. Oh, yeah, name dropping. Not not that he's known or Ooh, anything. Mr. He's Peter just, Wong. Ah, I feel Famous like you Peter know Wong. it was a good it was a good prank. So I wanted to give him credit for this. You know. Oh, he did it. Um, okay. Yeah, he did it. Maybe you're but he had out. a he had a watch that had a universal remote built in. Dude. Ah. And so he, this, you know, this is a public school, so it uses like old TVs, right? Yeah. And he would change the channel in classroom. Dude, I'm And it jealous. would mess with the teacher, because like no one has a remote. Who would bring a remote to school? But somehow this guy had a, a universal hey, remote on his watch. How old were you? How did, they, how did you even I always have? wanted a clock watch. He always watch. had the weirdest right, stuff. Yeah, not a clock watch, it's the same thing. Um, a calculator watch, yeah. This is really neat. I really like all these little yeah, Pieces. it's nice and organized yeah, and, and kind tiny. of says what each thing is. Uh, Tumla says Gordon would catch a wild fish with his mouth in a running stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to build up legends yeah. around Gordon uh, now. All right, so this is the legend of Gordon. We're going to get B5. This is an intense speaker unit. And then we're going to take these little <laughs> doohickeys. I think they're probably amplifiers, maybe, or like. Passive amplifiers, whatever you would call them. I'm not an audio person. Maybe we can get a, yeah, people are, are talking about us, the Casio brand uh, watches. Dude, Casio, man. We should, uh, maybe we can get a Casio sponsorship. You know? There you go. Sponsored by Casio. That's not, yeah, that's not a bad matchup, actually. I mean, are they still around? Yeah. Yeah. Gordon still wears their watch. Well, but I had, he, a, he I had probably, a Casio. He probably bought that in the 80s. Like, the watch doesn't, doesn't I, I used to wear around. was a Casio. Um, I can't imagine Casio going out of business. That would be a sad, sad day. They're classics. Classics. They are a classic. All right. Do you think they, but they, I don't think they, have they gotten to the smart space? I think they still. Probably just, not. They just make basic watches, right? Like, that's like the kind of watch you get at a uh, Target, right? Mm. Like in the jewelry department. <sighs> they make some nicer ones. I wouldn't be surprised if someone owns them, though, or if they, you know, like there's a parent company somehow, somewhere tied into there. Uh, I wonder if they're part of the Fossil Group. I know Fossil Group owns a lot of mm. companies, but I, I get, maybe they're probably high end. I would think if it would anything, it'd be like the Seiko Group or something. Oh, uh, isn't that a little more high end than Fossil? Yeah, Seiko's higher end. But I mean, Seiko has like um, some pretty lower, like you know, fifty dollar watches, like so they're pretty affordable. Um, really? Yeah. Huh. But their higher end ones go higher. Are they, um... It's kind of like, you know, in Japan, the brands kind of, like, aren't as, as, like, broken up. So if you think, of like, like, Toyota's, you know, like, here we have Lexus's, you know, but... Oh, uh, yeah. She's getting so much on the mat here. Uh... I never liked G-Shock. I, I don't understand I don't like that either. how well, they're... That's what Gordon wears, doesn't he? No, no maybe. But he wears a $3 Casio. Uh. I don't understand how they became popular either. They're like so Asia giant. Like, it was just like this thing that got really big mm. in Asia. Because I remember my cousins, because they used to go to Hong Kong a lot. Uh -huh. They would come back and like have like knockoffs. But it got knockoffs. popular here. I'm trying to figure out, just to confirm. So 
there's two of these smaller boards like this, mm. and one. There's only one actually listed in the uh, callouts here. I think this is actually M5 because it has the four dots on it or the cutouts. Mm. This one does not. It only has two. So I think this oh. is the one you want. Oh. And Gordon, the G-Shocks don't die because there's like an inch of plastic around the whole thing. So which way does it go? Oh, sorry. So you are going to, you need this as well. There's four layers. Oh yeah, no, I think you're right. And you need A5. What, what was the other thing then? I don't know. Oh. What is that, light oh, key Oh, it's the module? light key module. Maybe this is what goes on the back that you were like, uh, talking about. Oh, yeah. All right, so wait, uh, say that again. This goes in like that. So and what A5, are those? you want to have the bottom lip facing towards you. I'm going to stick my hand in here. So I think it would be easiest if you do it this way. Thomas says the Fox Watch was a beast. I'm going to have to look up this Fox Watch. Layer. So these, uh, these look like speakers, huh? Wait, this doesn't make any sense. This diagram is not accurate. So these uh, these little speaker modules are kind of fun. Got to be careful with these cones. Oh, oh interesting. Cones. Interesting. Let's see. I'm just going to put it there. Is this A5? I mean, it's the only two pieces left, yeah. Oh, OK. I can't figure out how they oriented this. Uh, like this. See, because there's, there's the hinge. Yeah, I know, but it's just like I'm actually trying to match this exactly. It doesn't make any sense how they drew it. Oh, so there's a little bit of stickiness on it. That's why it had a little uh, peel off. So I'm, I'm shooting the speaker towards the holes. Shoot it. Because that wouldn't make sense to shoot it inside. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, this is weird because look, there's contact points here. Which one has the honeycomb pattern? I mean, the, the, yeah, the one that is already in here is oh, the honeycomb okay. pattern. That's okay. But the, look at this, like, there's only it's contact facing, points. It's facing up? Yeah, but right it's not showing which way the contacts. See, the contacts can either be this way or this way, depending on how it lines up. So there's RP1, RP2, LP1, LP2. There's no indication of which way the contact points go. Um, I'm going to guess that you're just um, centering them between these contact points. No, you can't, because see how they touch? They're touching either one or the other. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, let's see. Maybe it doesn't matter? I, th I feel like it would matter. Maybe I go to just, maybe I go to the one slot on both? Um, can I see? Yeah. They're sticky, so. Right. It's not his sweat. It's not his hand sweat. Can hand I sweat? Because <laughs> I can't see. Yeah, watch out, it's sticky. Very well. Do I have hand sweat? I, can, I can see. No, well, I mean, not visually, but I can see you having a sweaty hand, being a sweaty hand person. Let's just assume. I'm a sweaty person in general. I don't think my hands sweat too bad. Mm. Let's just assume that it doesn't matter. Like, pick. Yeah, I mean, it's not really saying. So I'll just mimic. I mean, if worse comes to worst, we can always just rebuild it. Yeah. Right? So on this side, I went to LP. The outer ones? Or the inner yeah, ones? Yeah, I'm just going to go to the ones. So this one's going to correspond to L LN1 and LP1, and this one's going to correspond to RN1 and RP1. And hope that that makes sense. And yeah, hopefully it doesn't matter. Those are the speakers? Yeah, this is the speaker unit. Okay. And there's con there's contact points only on one side. Mm. Uh, so there's contact points right here and not here. Mm. But on the board itself, there's contact points here and mm. here and here and here. So you have to make a decision which side do you want the contact points on. Interesting. So I'm, I'm going to the one slot of both sides and hoping that that makes sense. 
a little harder to snap in because it's so short. It doesn't we go. look like it'll, it would line up the other way. Now that you kind of start to close it, does it look like it would actually line up? It does. Okay. The, I mean, if you flipped it, it would still line up? Yeah. Okay. Because it's the same shape, so you're okay. just putting it in. Oh, this one's not closing. <laughs> uh, Gordon says, I got to say, at the Game Boy factory in Kyoto, Elena and Adam might get fired. Hey, what? There we go. If you, if you were working at the Game Boy Factory, you'd he be fired. Even know what a Game Boy oh. is. Yeah. Uh, all right, where, where are we at now? So we are done with individual components, and I'm we going to assume that because the orientation of following directions on this side was down and then over, uh -huh. that we're going to go this way as well. Okay. So I'm going to assume that we're going to do all the cabling first, and then we're going to put okay. some of it into. Well, we'll do some of the cabling, and then we'll put it into the base. So it looks like the screen. It's going to be screen and buttons like that, and then the main board underneath with the... Okay, there we go. So it's like, it's like this. Yeah. Are you saying we're actually connecting it right now? I believe so, yeah. Screen line to main board. So you're using C1. Do not like unplug and plug while the system is on. So the, you're going to plug in the C1 cable? Mm -hmm. I need to find you a C3 cable, so hang on. Okay. This is this is where the rubber meets the road. This is ribbon cable. I can't I can't mess this up. I'm gonna pull out some more slack just to. It's weird. There's this little hinge on here, and I don't know why. Oh boy. And I'm scared. I guess I'm using the white ones. Right, I'm not sure how far I need to put this in. It's actually. Man, this is this is tricky. There's a really thin opening. Mm. Would it be easier to open the case and then do it, or is that not possible? No, I, I don't think so. Do you want some help? Ah, oh, crap. And Steven Anderson is asking, is this open source? How yes, we... this is a, an open source version of Linux. So it's highly hackable, is what they like to say. Hacks are. Yeah, they, ah, oh, dang. They literally have stickers that say highly hackable open source equipment. Bits and Bytes says open the case and then the bar locks the connector. Well, that might make sense. Like the if you. The bar locks the connector. Like because like it would be, it would be trapped in there maybe. Well, but when I open the case, it's upside down. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, because it's because the opening, the, the hinge part is in the middle of it. They oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Oh, that's what the bar is. Okay. <laughs> it's weird they don't say that. It's. I'm oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay. So you put the bar down, it locks it in. They don't really say that there. No, they don't. That, that is not in the instructions. Yes, you have to figure it out for yourself, or yeah. you have someone in chat telling you how to do it. Yes, thank you, chat, bits and bytes. He <laughs> yeah, says, so just like a MacBook. <laughs> just like a MacBook? What? He's, he's trying to get in a Macworld reference right there. Uh, it just works? Is that, what, is that the reference? I'm not getting it. Uh, all right, so the screen is connected to the main board. Now I need the cable that connects the controls. Uh, for anyone wondering, the screen is a 320 by 240 LCD screen. Um, I don't think it's color. I think it's monochrome, but I could be wrong. No, actually, I think it is color. I cannot make sense of what cable is what. A C3? Peter says it would not be hacking if it's open source. So here's here's the thing True. about this. Good point. Like I've got several options here. <coughs> so. And we're looking for C3. Looks yeah. like the middle option. Right. Oh wait, but these are the same length. Yeah. But smaller connector. 
So uh, I'm going to call this one because the yeah. connector is smaller. Yeah, take a look at what the actual oh, connector yeah, is. Oh, yeah, duh. So just to see what it what actually fits, because I'm trying to Yeah, this is it. That's this the is one? It, yeah. Okay. This is a little, little guy on the side. Yeah, that fits snug. Going into the board here. Okay, yeah, that's snug. And then now you need to choose now if you're going to do... Now I can play it. We're done. <laughs> oh, gosh. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> D-pad. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you have to choose which back you want. Because if you go for the maker back, it's going to be way complex. Because there's all these things you can attach there. Like the lights? The light key module, yeah. But I think in the interest of time, we might want to go with the simplified Yeah, back. I'm going to go with the I am not a maker. Do I look like a maker? No. I mean, it's be. No. You put your mind to it. Also, it's something that I can do later, I'm hoping. So, I will try it later, but... I think you go for a classic for now. Yeah. Just the game. I'm just mostly going to not be making okay. good gaming. So, my suggestion would be to do the cables before you actually seat everything down. Okay. Uh, so, I need to plug in the battery. The battery cable goes this way, and that's the short one, because it's the smallest. If you don't waste the... Is it two prong? Yes. Uh, did either of you watch the Sonic the Hedgehog movie trailer? I tried not to. Yeah, you sh should not. I've only seen the memes. You should not. It's kind of terrifying. It's, it's sad. I don't get it. I don't know who watched it and got excited. But I hear people saying about how like people were making fun of Wait, the Super Mario, and I I liked I liked the Super Mario. Look how short this it's it's too short. Then is it four? No, it's only two. I don't know what to tell you. Did I have it in? Oh, you know what? Okay, never mind. I probably had it in upside down. That puts a little less slack on it. Let's try that. Um, yeah, the the music choice is interesting. I'm sure you've heard about the music choice. I did not. It's uh, Coolio's Gangsta's Paradise. <laughs> you know, because Sonic is pretty He's gangsta. Thug. He's pretty thug. Uh, and then the speaker module looks like it. That's weird. It looks like it fires down. Yeah, seems Cause like Because clockwork, it. yeah. 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 Um, you will need to connect the audio line as well. So, which, how many prongs for that? Four. This one. Well, you know oh, Sonic is, is repping, repping the, the Crips, uh, Adam. That's all I have. So, it's, is it this one? Well, this no, one? there's no way. Very focused. Yeah, because if it's got to go all the way up here, <laughs> it's, this uh, does not fit. All right, C4. I mean, the only thing I can think That's of is that one, it right? would be this one, but does it, does it not work? I feel yeah, like this, this is, is four on this side too. maybe people are, are commenting on like, you know, what age this would be appropriate for. Oh, it feels like what? it's more the this instructions is, that could be clearer. Um, it's not actually, it doesn't seem very complicated, so but... Four. It's a little bit unclear. Want this yeah, one for yeah, that. yep, yep. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, you know, age range. I I could see as a if 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 you got a really advanced teenager, unlike me. I mean, I bet if I banged my head against the wall, I probably would have loved it. Um, but I know uh, my wife uh, watches a family that has like a really smart kid. I think he's like preteen, but he's like. He's like somebody who actually makes stuff. Um, so he would I, be into I, it. I bet he would be into it. I mean, it, this is this is meant for STEM. It's meant yeah. for you know people who are, who are into it. Yeah, it's not very complicated. You just you have to think about it a little bit, and it's nice to have help yeah. <laughs> in the I mean, chat. I think I think it would be a project you could do with someone who is younger as a way to teach them how to think about going about mm. projects, right? Like, yeah, you know, it's like, the oh, the speakers plug into yeah. the main board, this the battery the plugs in, you know. That my dad might have done with me where, like, 
I did not automatically just come up with the idea of like writing on parts, right? Like this is the kind of thing that my dad would teach me. I can't even find the camera here. But, hey, uh, we got you in the he corner. Would, like walk me through a project, and he's like, "Hey, you need to remember where this goes. So here's a suggestion for how to do that, and so on and so forth." See, I was much more of a, I'm going to tear it down, see how it works, and not worry about putting it together. Kind yeah, of thing. I like, like yeah. I so, that. yeah, I, I did not care about Well, how sometimes you don't, you try to put it back together, but you fail. And that's how, this is what my dad taught me things like <laughs> yeah. this, because he's like, you're going to have to put things back together at some point. Let's make your life easier. So now you basically put all, sorry, I, I should have had you do some of this on the that base, but fun. I figured it would be easier for you to not have to worry about little plugs. And this is a kit, Daniel. Uh, yeah, this is, everything's this is included in here. Do we know how much the kit is? Yes. Well, it's on sale right now. If you want to look it up, Dana, I'm sorry. I think I think it's 200 regularly, and it's on sale for 140, I believe. That's not oh, bad. you know what? Here's a problem. Oh dear. I didn't file down the pieces enough, so it's not lining up. Oh dear. So I need to do a little more filing. What? Which what? Is now which, uh, what <laughs> what's the name of this again? Go to Clockwork Game Shell. So clockwork, all one word, and then game shell. All one word. All oh. one word, but those are two separate words. <laughs> so I'm pretty worried doing this right next to this ribbon cable. You could just disconnect it. No. Okay. We've come too far. All right. I won't. I won't oppose you. So yeah, I, I didn't, looks. I didn't think like. I needed to file it that great, but yeah, this. It's impeding on uh, inserting it into the case, so. So I'm going to do this without that. So it looks like the Game Shell kit is normally $199, but it is $159 right now. Uh, $159, okay. But, but there is a student version for $139. What's the difference? <laughs> but I, think I, it's it's a, I think it's the same thing, but you maybe you have to like, show that you, yeah. Oh, you send them. Um, and then if you were a back, there's a backer version. Oh, yeah, because this was for one forty nine. All right. I, you know what? I'm sorry. I got to take this apart. And you can buy a whole bunch if you want. This ribbon cable is is freaking me out. I need to need to do a little more yeah. sanding. And there's a th you can three D print it yourself for five with a and the the models are five dollars. So they have that's cool. So the the actual is it just the case or all of the pieces? It looks like it's 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 the pieces, but I don't know how they would do the silicone kind of you know. That's super Cool that though, part because that means you could do your own colors and oh so which is why it's modular mm. Mm, okay mm. you know what that makes sense now that's cool that makes sense you know i've never done that's so much 3d better. printing i'll post a game a link for people time. in the chat so they can uh yeah it should up. be in the description of the post as well Adam, just, um, a, just fyi i would be a little careful with pointing the compressed air at the circuitry <laughs> I'm living on the edge, Elena. Okay. I'm not risk. I'm very risk averse, if you couldn't tell, because I don't play with fire. You gotta play with fire sometimes. Uh. And why is it not seating again? No, oh, if I have it backwards this way. Like that. All right. So yeah. So I had to do a little more filing so that this module can sit in. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Now it works. Now let's see if I have to do more filing on the screen case. Probably. Oh no. So it's lined up a little bit, but it doesn't snap in on that side. Um, battery down here. Do I have to file more? How much is the other kit? The G-Pi case? <sighs> the G-Pi case, I think, is 60. And the how much was the actual Raspberry Pi? The Raspberry Pi W costs like 20 bucks on Amazon. OK. You can save like $3 if you go with the non-wireless version. And the non-wireless version does take a little bit less energy to power. So if you're worried about battery life, you can always go that route. But I don't. We, we talked about it, you know, decided that ultimately it wasn't worth it. And then we found out that we had a full press kit anyway. Mm. Can you trade your Pokemon uh, with these? 
Sure, I don't know. You know, with the how you have to use the cable. Oh yeah, the link cable. Oh, well, that was the the later. No, the link cable was even with the original. But yeah, Pokemon didn't come out till the Game Boy Color. Huh? What are these plugs for? They're telling me I need them. All right. So, all right. So, this is a little wobbly. I'm concerned about that. I don't know why. It's a little wobbly. But everything else is in there. Maybe when it's closed together, it'll be it'll be nice and tight. Okay, so we're gonna need these plugs for the final step, but I'm just not quite certain how. Oh, you're also gonna need to snap out these two oh, gears. Yeah. Are those plugs just like? I think that stand they help um, when you snap it together. So you have to insert the plugs first uh -huh. onto the posts, and then. And it kind of goes in these little. Depression areas, yeah. It's marked out here. Oxy Panda was Team Digimon. Oh, Digimon. <laughs> I came a little later, I think, right? A little bit. I don't think that really t took off as heavily. Mm, no, as no. Was. Oh, wait, they're numbered. Mm -hmm. Do I need to care? <laughs> Do they all say CP1? I think they all have a number. Oh, they all say CP1. So one it, it attached doesn't, to it, it doesn't so I don't matter. think it matters. Wait, where do the top ones go? Oh, there's only two? Oh, oh, okay, I get it, I get it. And Daniel uh, is asking if there's, what's the differences between the cases of the two? Uh, so this one is kind of just like a clear black back. Uh, see if I can do it without. So there's a, uh, you can kind of see the, the back here. I don't know if something goes there. No, but the, you so. can see the main board. Uh, and then there's no holes, you can just kind of see through it. Oh. There we go. Yeah, I like that look, it's yeah. not bad. Um, and the actual, this one, I might as well tick off the... Oh, no, no, not between the, the Maker one, but between the G-Pi. Oh, the G-Pi one. Well, once we get out the G-Pi one, the G-Pi one literally looks like a Game Boy, just with yeah, extra buttons. Yeah, it does, and it, it, um, it actually runs off of a Raspberry Pi board, whereas this is a proprietary yeah. uh, main board that it's using. Yeah. Are they the same size? No, yeah. okay. no, the, the G-Pi case is larger, but it is smaller than the original Game Boy. Um, yeah. So now I just click it in. Uh, I think you need to attach, yeah, you click it in, and then you attach the little gears. Okay. Although I'm not sure how, the, how well they'll stay, so it'll be interesting to see. Just before you put that on, can uh -huh. you make sure that dust is removable? Because if you need to clear it out, you might want to do it before you snap down. True, yeah. Well, there's no screen here, so. Um, right, but if it's on the inside, oh yeah, you know what I mean. Looks like a couple of the speckles are in the inside, but that's gonna just depend on you if you care or not. Yeah, you're right. Would you say that one is like Game Boy Color size? Uh, no, this is definitely bigger than Game Boy Color, but it's close. It's close. I would say Game Boy Color is probably the size of the this internal piece, but the actual external piece is is definitely bigger. Um, so it kind of snapped a little bit down here. Yeah, I can hear it. Yeah. But the top okay. doesn't seem to be. Well, which is why we've got the gears. Is that what it's for? Yeah, those those gears, gears, I don't know about those gears. Are those gears gonna stay though? I feel like they come off very easily. I don't remember there being gears on it. Can, oh, you can do Yeah, that. So, you, so you turn, that's and how you locks. tighten it. I, I knew that much. Ah, so it kind of holds it down. He knew that much. Yeah. That's all he knew, but I knew that, he knew much. that much. I knew that's <laughs> why the gears were there. It's not just aesthetics. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so yeah, there we go. It has been assembled. It's cute. How's it? Is uh, is the screen tight on there now? The buttons feel really stiff. Oh, okay. I just need to loosen it up a little bit. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how I feel about these buttons. I'll have to see once we start playing. Yeah, you're the handheld guy among us, so it'll be interesting to get your take about after doing some extended play with it. They've got a good spring to them, but I feel like. 
a little bit too much actuation, like or a little little too much press down Before to actually hit it. Yeah, mm. it kind of reminds me of those like mushy. like thousand and one games in like a single. You know. Yes. <laughs> Well, you were you we were, were just uh, talking about this the other day. So my my cousins, the ones ones that would go to Hong Kong all yeah. the time, would often come back with cartridges that uh, had, would have like all those like thirty games in one cartridge, kind of knockoffs, you know. And then you would play it, and you would realize like only two were really worth playing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they were so bad. Yeah. They were so bad. It's like or multiple versions of basically the same thing. Yeah. So I don't know much about <laughs> Linux, but uh -huh. I understand that that command right there is shell. So that's why this is called uh, game show. It, 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 it's a play on words. Ha! I get it. Um, the speaker grill is interesting because the the speakers fire this way, like down, uh, which is probably taking advantage of the the hollow spaces in here to like ba the boost the bass frequencies. Uh, but then the actual the actual grill itself is in top, and not all of these are. Um, are pass not all these pass through like this bottom row is just for show, uh, which is interesting. And I don't think there's yeah. Interesting to see how loud it gets. So yeah, there it it kind of indents. It's hard to see here. Yeah, you can kind of see it here. It's a little bit of an indent right here, almost like you could put something here. Maybe that's part of like the maker part. I don't know. I think it might. Um, be. But then also access to the the actual ports. So mm. up here you've got the on off switch. Uh, is how you turn on and off the micro HDMI, um, the USB uh, mini, or the uh, I'm sorry the. I don't know. I think I think it's just the for the look. Jack. Well, I don't know, but because I feel like why why not make there we go. You can kind of see it like that. Why not make it flush? And then uh, I think it's well, to I emulate. You have to indent it here. You have anyway. to indent the top. I feel like it's just. You don't want these buttons, or you don't want these ports to be at the top. Just might be a stylistic choice. I no. think, yeah. So that way you can better see the board, right? Because if you had the plastic come all the way up, then you wouldn't be able to see the board nearly as well. Uh, I do like that you can see the inside, but I can see a little bit of my filing dust uh, that I didn't get out. <laughs> It'll haunt me forever. Uh, all right, cool. Well, that one is built. All right, um, it's my turn. Yeah, so now it's Elena's turn. My We're, turn. It's gonna go like it's gonna take five minutes tops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, while while she's building her, we're gonna switch seats. Yeah, while and she's, then you probably need a power supply because I don't know if the battery's actually got any charge. To I've, it. I've heard that it should, so okay. I'll, I'll probably um, I'm, I'm gonna clean up, just kind of get some of this stuff out of the way while right. you're doing your build. I'm so gonna we're we're gonna up. switch. Hopefully, not drop my microphone as I do. This. Oh, because you don't have a pocket. Nope, no Sorry. pockets. Nothing. I did not dress for this. Apparently. <coughs> oh, don't I forget about like, your wrists. Your you can wear it now, Adam. I, like, I, I, I can wear it now. All right, so all I have is just this and this, and all of this <laughs> is Adam's. <laughs> yeah, right. so, so in that um, case, we're jumping to your close up. Yeah, Yay. I'm gonna put all this back in the box. And just to show you, here, here is one of the scars I was talking about from my kitty. <laughs> He's now on the equivalent of Kitty Prozac, I think. So I would not be able to paint him directly. I, I mean, add, if, if you value your, your life, you probably don't want to paint him. Yeah, or I have to be in like one of those full body suits that they use for self-defense classes. Uh, oh, or like the, uh, the bomb squad. <laughs> yeah. Um, like the SWAT. OK, let's see what they included in the press kit. Oh, wow, look, you are a special person. We have selected we have selected only ten people to send to for our announcement. Thank you. <laughs> I, you didn't tell me anything. I said the Nigerian prince. They did right here. In the I letter. know in there. Yeah, e email me, please. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the instructions are just right on the back of the case. Ah, that's how simple it is. It's very simple. Yeah, you get the easy one. I do get the easy <laughs> one this time. And I'll still probably find a way to screw it up. Don't worry, Adam. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to put this here so I have my instructions in front of me. Let's get that out of the way so you all don't have to see it. And then move this out of the way. I wasn't close to probably open it this way. But here is that. It already comes with a cable. I guess I didn't need to send you for one. Oh no, this is different. 
Oh, that's the power. Yeah. Because you can power it. Power is power. Uh, oh. In case you need my Leatherman. Oh, look, they included a little, little baby screwdriver. Sorry. I'll pull it out. It's hard to see <laughs> with the plastic bag and the, the lighting. And then... Is it Hex or is it a uh, Flathead? I mean, sorry, is it Flathead or Phillips? It's a Phillips. I think it's probably like a... It's not even a double zero. It's As like someone who used to wear glasses, I will, anytime you get like a little extra flathead screwdriver, I'm like, oh, nice. Mm. Save for your glass kit. Okay, let's see. Um, well, there are fingerprints all over this because we have obviously handled this already. <laughs> yep, we have. I was very excited. Okay, so according to the instructions. Why don't you show off the case real quick for the people oh. who haven't seen it? Looks like uh, classic. Let's compare it. Yeah, have a side by side comparison. So I, you know, it's actually closer than I thought it'd be. They're, they're very yeah. close in size. This one's actually wider, deeper, like, like, no, this one's thicker. Depth, depth wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this one's a little bit thicker, <coughs> this one's a little bit wider. Um, I've already tried putting like my hands on this one, and I actually think it would get a little uncomfortable, especially because they have these shoulder buttons right here. Mm. And I don't know, I'd have to do this with my wrist. I think it's. Wait, there's shoulder awkward. buttons? Yeah, yeah, we found out last night we there's shoulder buttons. Like this, I don't know if you can see it. It's like yeah. right here uh -huh. and right here. J just, just one pair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's for like Game Boy Advance. Yeah. Or, or Super Nintendo. Yeah. Uh, Which is also why it has the four button layout as yeah. opposed yeah. to just the two as the actual Game Boy would have. Which is perfect, yeah. The D pad's a little mushy. For my liking, it seems like it could be a little sluggish in response. It'll be interesting to see, but the buttons themselves feel really great. Yeah, a lot of the retro flag case or a lot of the retro flag cases that they send comes with a controller as well, like a USB-based controller that matches. And the, those controllers haven't been like astounding. But I, I have 8-bit dough stuff anyway, so I usually use those. But I do love that they always include like functional buttons on things. Yeah, yeah, like the power button, the reset. Mm -hmm. Not that it necessarily makes sense, but could you theoretically attach a controller to these? Possibly. I, I don't think so. I don't think so for this one though. Not that one possibly because it has the USB. But I mean, I guess maybe if you want. Uh, I doubt it. It has a USB port underneath it does. Uh, if you want to show yeah. the camera. Yeah, it does have the USB port back here, but you'd have to basically open it up, I think. Yeah, I've also heard it's just for loading games. Like it, possibly. Like, yeah. So. Yeah. But I mean, this is a Raspberry Pi. True. Yeah. So you could you could do a lot of things with it. Something we can try. Yeah. All right, so I think I just need to pop off this section right here. Yep, Shit. there's a little lock on the top. Is that what that's for? Yeah, so that, it used to be the Game Boy Power button. Now it's the Oh, that's what that's lock. actually yeah, for. Yeah, so it holds, Got it holds it into place. OK, so that just slides right out. And then the micro SD card goes here. Do I just pull straight out? What's happening? Uh, when you pull it up, it, it comes out, too. Pull what up? The pieces apart. Oh, I actually have to pull this apart. Well, that's how you get the, the Raspberry Pi in there. You already put this together. Why Sorry, am I sitting I've, in the I've, seat? I've looked in it. <laughs> Cheetah. Cheetah. So I'm always really hesitant to pull on things because I have a bad habit of just breaking them. I just like breaking stuff. Do you? I mean, that's true. You, you take things <laughs> apart and then put, don't put them back together exactly. again. Exactly. So you just like split it apart. Do like, it. Do it. Is Commit. That really? Oh, okay. There we go. These instructions are not very thorough. I wouldn't call these instructions. They're more well, like actually, you know what? It does say instruction. It does say instruction on I the box, but these that, are not instructions. I'm just saying that they, they seem to, oh boy. They seem to be a little, how shall we say, minimalist. That's the word I'm looking yeah, for. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let me look on the website. I wonder if on the website. Uh... Did I break something? Let's find out. Oh, uh, no, the, it slots back in. Does it? Because yeah. it just kind of all pops It's out. on the other side. Oh, does it's it? It's like backwards. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. There we go. Put that back together. Now I just need to insert the Raspberry Pi. So I think my understanding is that this already comes preloaded with RetroPie on it because it's a press kit. So. There would be another, like, what, maybe half hour of plugging this in to a laptop and then actually installing it. 
Yeah, which if, if you, I mean, if you want to see it, we did it during our Raspberry yeah, Pi live build. Long. So yeah, if you want to learn how to install RetroPie and, and do it that way, you can go back and watch that. All right, I'm um, going to assume. So looking at RetroPies. Ah, here we go. Oh, there's instructions in there. Kind of. Do we need to install the safe shutdown script? I guess not, because they've uh, already done everything on yeah, it. Yeah, I've right? heard that the script is already on there. Okay, so normally you would, step one is that you would take your SD card, install their their specific, RetroPie's specific, oh, sorry, not RetroPie, um, RetroFlag. RetroFlag specific um, safe shutdown script on it, as well as. The link's in the paper, yeah. yeah. RetroPie, the link's right here. It's it, funny enough. It's not on their website. Like if you go to the GPI case, it's not. I don't think there's a manual. I looked yesterday. Yeah, no manual, no link to the GitHub. Yeah. And then I want to switch. Oh no, there it is. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm wrong. There's a safe shutdown script link at, on the. Oh, yeah, but there's no yeah. manual. So that's what I meant. Yeah. And then it tells you to install the GPI case patch again on the micro SD card. I assume that you, you know, would do that in addition to putting your ROMs and your yeah. uh, virtual call on there. What is it? Download.retroflag.com? Mm -hmm. And then retro. you finally assemble everything. Oh, I actually have to put my screwdriver together, so hang on. Assemble the screwdriver. Uh, the download.retroflag.com, I got it right, right? Yeah. Download. Gives me a 403. <laughs> And quick question, Adam. Yes. Is there a time limit on the stream? I can't remember. Uh, it's like three hours. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at some point, I need to order pizza. I'm getting hungry. Where, I will just say. Where was that pizza place that we got last time? Was it Zach's? I don't know. Don't ask me. Damn it. We always Whoa. forget. This is a very strong zipper uh, on the Ziploc bag. All right. So I've got, oh boy. Ooh, there's lots of little tiny screws. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because I have a bad habit of losing screws, I'm gonna put them in here. Oh, almost lost that one. I'll put you here, and i put you here. That's a lot of screws. Yeah. Oh, is that a, what is that? Oh, a ribbon cable. Some kind of cable, okay. yeah. Oh, you know, it's an extender to hit the, the USB in there, mm. but. Okay, so I actually have to assemble. Oh, I see, this is cool. You can uh, have the double either the flathead or a Phillips. This is a very nice tool he gave us. Was it Mountain? <laughs> it's not Mountain Mike's Pizza, right? No. I mean, we can go there if you really want. I'll slum it for you. What do you think is the best frozen pizza? Ooh. Do you have opinions on that? Ooh, I do. What's my my wife mm -hmm. likes Red Baron the Red most. Red Baron, I was just about to say. Yeah. <laughs> but that's they, it's usually the smaller ones. They, right? But they have large ones too. Do they? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like really like any of them. So sometimes I'll just go with like the Safeway one. Hmm. Oh, is it Soma Pizza? It looks like that's the only one that delivers here. No, I think I went to Zach's last time, didn't we? I'll say I'm a big fan of Stouffer's French bread pizza. Okay, save shutdown scripts. <laughs> I'm supposed We're ignoring to that switch then. it to <laughs> I think it's just because you don't know. You, you haven't had it. So this is part of step one. I'm actually going backwards. So part of the safe script shutdown, normally this little switch here is set to off. Once you install the scripts, then you switch it to on. Yeah, I was watching some YouTube videos yesterday about this, and they're like, they couldn't figure out what why it's there and what it's doing, because you have to take the batteries out to get access to it. Mm -hmm. But it's not like it. you can still run the script if it, the switch is off, so it's it's confusing. Yeah, Patrick, I'd, I'd say Red Baron is uh, a budget pizza. <laughs> One of the budget pizzas, I, I mean, like Celeste. On. Frozen pizza so that's, that's, is budget pizza. Mm, well, I mean, like I, I don't know if I would call like DiGiorno, or CPK as budget pizza. As budget pizzas. Dude, it's like five dollars, and it's in the okay, frozen Okay, I wouldn't call it as a, a budget store. frozen pizza. CPK oh, okay. actually does frozen. Yeah. Huh? Didn't know. Oh, see What's now. CPK? California pizza. Oh kitchen. yeah, okay. I've seen those. I don't think I've seen the frozen ones. Or right. I, I don't think yeah. I've eaten the frozen. I've had them all. Actually, hooks in here with this little hook right here. I just took it out because I just want to see what it does. It's just pogo pins. Yeah. Mm, let's see. Okay, so this is the shell. Part one, part two. So my next step is... Uh, on Yelp, Soma Pizza is the only one that says it delivers. All right. I trust you. I'm going to go with the easy solution. Tech with Sean says they have these frozen ones from Detroit Pizza, and they're, they're, they're pretty dank, but they're eight bucks. I have had Detroit-style pizza. I would call it dank. 
It's, it's pretty Dang. good. Detroit like style. What, what makes it Detroit style? Does that so have chili on Detroit it? Detroit style I've had was at a, uh, it was at a, a pizza, it was like a truck, a food truck uh -huh. in Austin, Texas. It's a so just Detroit style pizza. Here. You order it and it takes forever. <laughs> so <laughs> that's part like, of the hey, thing. It has go, to take forever. Go over next door to the bar. I can't, like, so you were drunk, okay? Not Continue yet. with this. We ordered it, then yeah. we went to the bar. And then got drunk. Uh, I, no, I think it, it took a couple buzz. years in when it buzz, finally okay. came. Um, and so imagine deep dish. Right? I don't like deep dish pizza. I know, but imagine a deep dish. So you've already lost me. Okay, but it's in, it's in, a, in a square. Huh. Okay, a square deep okay. dish, but it's even deeper than deep dish. This it sounds, was like yeah. so thick. Like Sicilian so style. it's basically a pizza casserole. Yes, and then and then it had some stuff on top, but the majority of it, you're getting it for the dough, really. Like they had, it was like I, I, it felt like somebody baked a pizza cake and put some toppings on uh, it. You know, so it was less about the toppings yeah. and so much about the deep, and it was very like very crisp. I don't want so. a ton of toppings either. I feel like there's a right ratio. Um, I do miss pizza. I haven't had Pizza Hut in a long time. That used growing up, that was. Just imagine grease and bread. Oh, but I, 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 used, I think. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. <laughs> imagine grease and bread, and that's basically pizza. Mm -hmm. Pizza. So also, just to interject with the actual project here. Yeah. I have inserted this little. Um, I don't even know what this is. I basically inserted this into one of the micro USB ports, which blocks mm. it off or has like I think it's a there's a contact on this, so I think when it touches, it's going to do something. Mm. What? I don't know. Because I don't know anything about this kind of thing. Uh, I'm getting us a salad because I know you like a salad, Dan. As well a little as, bit of greens. Uh, Elvis Knott says, Little Caesars, hot and ready, five bucks. Dude, man, Little Caesars, dude, that's my jam. I'd nah. much rather have that over frozen pizza any day. Well, of course. It's yeah, <laughs> any day. Okay, so now I put But that's the only one, one topping. Well, it depends. depends. Not for five bucks. For five dollars, you only no, get one topping. No. What? Not, not necessarily. Uh, this is a hack. I mean, all right, hacking, not yeah. open source. Uh, yeah, only because uh, my ex-wife was vegan. Uh, we used to have a Little Caesars like right around the corner from where we lived. Uh -huh. So if you Don't get it without on cheese, uh -huh. you get a second topping, or at least that's the agreement we had with. It's people. not pizza without cheese. She's vegan. It was fine. Yeah, she was vegan. You know, like no, uh, it, so we got two. I'm gonna say two, uh, I'm gonna uh, say topics. pizza is defined uh, by having. Cheese. Is, uh, but I feel the like, definition of I pizza, like I think, if requires you go back cheese. To like Italy, where pizza started with like flatbreads and shit. Ooh, I don't think it necessarily okay, had that cheese. It. Okay, so I basically just dropped the raspberry pie board into the shell, and right? now I, I think it's like fresh, fresh mozzarella. <laughs> I, I mean, hey, like, we know? got it. We got it from a pizza place. Uh, I'm not we're, saying we're pulling chat here. We're pulling chat here. Yeah. No, no. I'm I'm not I'm not trying to convince chat that it was good. I'm just saying we were able to <laughs> no. get two toppings <laughs> because <laughs> of the <laughs> cheese. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, <laughs> should we get the Soma special, the meat eater? The, so uh, I'm switching to our actual set because ours is magnetized and mm. I prefer that for screws because I don't like them dropping everywhere. We got the California pizza. But I do appreciate they included this. Let's see, this is... But what about White House pizza? Does anyone have any adverse reaction to anything? No. I was not listening to your options, sorry. Uh, we've got should be. the Soma special pizza, which is pepperoni, bell peppers, sausage, salami, onions, tomato, and mushroom. There are only two things that I, I can't stand on pizza. Yeah. One of those is pineapple, Okay. and the other is olives. I can't eat onion, but I can pick it off, so that's not a But problem. I can pick, oh, well, you can't pick pineapple because well, it, the meat eater. The flavor Pepperoni, goes salami, everywhere. Pepperoni, salami, sausage, chicken, and bacon. Too but much. I can pick too off, too I can pick off olives. What about White House? Chicken, <laughs> onion, garlic, and white sauce with nope. parsley figs. Okay. I'm more of a red sauce than a California white sauce person, personally. California salami, sausage, black olives, mushroom, garlic, all right. Um, the first one sounded Yeah, okay. why don't I do Soma and I can say hold the onions? I mean, if you guys like onions, it's fine. I'm fine with, I like onions. Fine, I just pick it out. And what size should I go? I 14, mean, 16? I mean, it's three of us, so. I would say a, a 18. Six, six, either 16 or 18, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go 18. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. It's a Wednesday. Hump day. Uh, so that and a salad. Uh, Let's see. ASAP. Call. All right, so I'm, I'm not going to go overly tight with these screws. I don't really feel like. 
I need to get too crazy with that. Do I hear any rattling? No, I, I hear a little rattling. I do hear a little rattling. Well, if we get 18 inches, that's diameter, right? Mm, yes. Yeah. Not from the middle. <laughs> so then that 18 would, from the middle. So nine. Would that would be a 36. That would be 81. Ooh, that'd be a yard. That would be, be great. a lot of pizza. That so that's like 240 fun. square inches. So we each get like uh, something, you know. I really hate over tightening screws. Um, I don't think it's. I don't think it's possible not for it to wrap, for it to not rattle. Let's see. Yeah, what's doing the rattling? I think it's just. <laughs> Gordon says, "I picture Mr. Nintendo behind the two-way mirror glass, viewing the Game oh, Boy yeah, build, wondering if maybe his workers should concentrate more on building Game Boys than talking about pizza." <laughs> <laughs> this is coming from the guy who uses beer as a uh, cooling solution for CPUs. So I'm not sure if he gets to judge us on our productivity. Also, he gets no no pizza. Ooh, that's no harsh. pizza. No pizza for the that's boss. Harsh, man. That's harsh. Uh, no, our actual boss. Yeah, the our actual boss. He can have pizza. He can have pizza. But oh. Gordon, who's pretending to be our Game Boy boss. We can save him our crusts, like our, our rind. I like. The rindy parts. Are you, are you just not tying it down? I mean, I'm just, I just hate over tightening screws. Over tighten, commit! Mm. No. Are you breaking the, are you chewing out the threads? Hmm? Well, you know when it stops. Go all the way till it stops. <laughs> like you're still turning. I know. So go th until it stops. But the thing is, is that I don't remember if these are, I didn't look, I don't know, remember if these are plastic or metal. It doesn't matter. Post. Go until it stops. Plastic. It's probably plastic. plastic it's is probably dangerous plastic. Because you need to undo it. What's man? so dangerous about this? Because every time you do undo, you're basically. Um, Why would I undo this? I'm just saying it's possible. There we there go. There we go. Good enough. Okay. Uh, oh, this does have detailed instructions. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, so. I don't understand what they want of me. Oh, oh, okay, I got it. Oh, it goes on the back side of it? Uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. Flippity floppity. Oh, because there's a connection on the back? I guess. Oh, I actually have to insert the ribbon. Oh, uh, okay. Almost said a word that would not be approved by Disney. Say well, it. You ju just set it in like that. Just say it. No, I know. Just I'll bleep you out in but post. It's more <laughs> But it has to do more with the actual <laughs> insertion of this, because I have ham-fisted tendencies. She wants ham on her topping as I, a topping. Sorry, I, I think that's what she said. Ones, ones with ham. Oh, sweet, sweet baby. Jesus. Back in college, we used to get a lot of the 555 deal that Domino's used to do. What, what was it? You get three, if you buy three medium pizzas, then they're each five bucks for one topping pizzas. But you have to get three. You have to get three. And that was the original that, kind of wait, deal. Who is this? In college, we'd no, do no, that. No, what, what? Domino's. See, I don't. Domino. Out of all the chains, Domino's is my least favorite. I don't like Domino's. I wouldn't that. choose them yeah. as really the see. first, but I would choose them over Little Caesars. I like Little Caesars better than Domino's. <laughs> yeah. You would, Adam. You yeah. would. My favorite. My favorite chain. Uh, Papa John's. Yeah. I, I dig a, a nice Papa John pizza. But I, I like getting their white sauce pizza. Um, That's racist. That's pretty good. Yeah. I'm privileged. Um, you too. <laughs> just a comedy act. <laughs> it's just the back and forth. This is what it's like to work with Dan and I. We yeah. literally have des desks right next to each other. I don't know if this is sitting correctly. We'll find out. Okay, so I did that. And Destiny fan uh, is asking if that's a cartridge emulator. How uh, would you describe that, really? <laughs> well, no, it's 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 where the Raspberry Pi sits. It's where the entire system sits. Yeah, it doesn't. Right. So I did this wrong. I just want everyone to know I was supposed to flip this first. Show it down here. Oh, sorry. I was supposed to flip this first before trying to insert the the little ribbon. Oh. There we go. Um, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Retroflag did a, a smart thing by putting the the Raspberry Pi motherboard inside of the cartridge slot. So I wouldn't say you're emulating it. It's just more like when RetroPie was like, well, we could put it in the in the body of it, Yeah. but it's pretty cool to put it in That's the That's kind of cool. It's an interesting concept. And it's easy to take out so that you assemble it, because if, if it was in the main body of it, you'd have to take the whole body that apart. That is true. 
and, and maybe yeah. start messing with God, the screen I hope and I stuff. I did this right. Um, so I actually think it's pretty smart that they put it like in the cartridge slot. I mean, once it's in and it's like seated in and you snap it in, there's no reason to take it out. It's not like you, I mean, I guess if you, no, I don't know why you would have different Raspberry Pis that you're slotting uh, in. Yeah, that no. Make any sense. Or, I mean, I guess you could and just put only one game on each one. If anything, it would have been like just like the memory card goes in the cartridge it's and then that just keeps, this. you know, well, the, or something. You, you still have access to the memory card from the side. Yeah, but I mean, uh, like, you know, then you would swap and you had multiple cartridges with true, different memory yeah. cards or something. But um, I, I've heard RetroPie loads really slow on this. So once it's on, I would hate to like turn it on and then, or off then on again to, to just to swap out a new game. I'd much rather have it wait for it to load once and be done. Uh, and Gordon, I always thought Roundtable was was too pricey, so I didn't yeah, have that Gordon Ma Ung money. Yeah, yeah, we don't make that Gordon Ma Ung money. Yeah. Roundtable is definitely pricey. That was the high end. Like, I, I'm surprised sometimes. Like, we have a, a friend at our... Uh, only Gordon can afford that kind of stuff. We have a friend in our building that, that gets Roundtable a lot, and every <laughs> time they order it, I'm just like... No. Wow, that that's was like how a much it was. Thirty dollar pizza. Yeah, dude, and I'm like, I could get, you know, for the same <laughs> price of Papa John's, I can get like. Papa know, John's is not cheap though. It's it's not cheap. I call that second but it's highest. So much cheaper than second highest. Um, no. Yeah. It's not thirty dollar. I can get no, sales. No, I but easily get sales. I would say Papa John is more expensive than Domino's oh, or sure. or yeah, Pizza yeah. Hut. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's the second most high expensive. Yeah. Okay. Of of the chains. Well, but I mean. But the you're saying the jump is bigger than that. Also, the other one's not like a nationwide chain, the the one Gordon's talking about. Is Which one? Roundtable. I think Roundtable is just. I think it's nationwide. It? Yeah. And so it was so integral to my childhood experience is that I just thought it was everywhere. I think because you were a Roundtable person. My parents were. Ah, oh, oh, some baller that, Elena. That See, they're the crazy rich Asians. You always yeah. say I'm the crazy rich Asian. Yeah, that that yin, but, uh, that yi and ung money. Yeah. No, I think it's just more <laughs> of like my parents are pizza snobs. Why is this not sitting? I don't know what I've done wrong. This is just. Well, not. now you gotta screw it in. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's just weird though. Commit, cause, Elena. Because everything else is sitting properly. That's yeah, fine. Mm. I don't think I roll the way you do, Adam. Yeah, just do it. I, th I think something must be off if everything else is sitting properly. Do you want me to look at it? Double check your work? Sure, why not? That little clippy? God. Oh. So, that. Sounds like something got loose now, though. Sorry, what? It sounded like something got loose now after you popped oh. it. But maybe not. What are these standoffs for? Those are for when you're done. Oh, uh, okay. Unless those are the ones I'm supposed to be putting in. Yeah, I think, what if it goes in between? Oh, I did. I used the wrong screws. Dang it. Yeah, so the, the standoffs go in between the boards, huh? Yeah, that's what I did wrong. There you go. Wouldn't be a project with me if I didn't get something wrong, everybody. Boom. Can't follow directions. Oh, wait, yeah, they have the standoffs right on I the know, thing. I know, I wasn't looking all Come on, I Gordon. I just Gordon. <laughs> Actually, Gordon just doesn't even follow instructions. No, this is why this is why nothing in. was working properly. This is what it's like building with me, everybody. This is why my projects take like the double time of everybody else because <laughs> I get everything wrong, even though I'm trying to be methodical. I think Still there's wrong. a correlation between roundtable pizza uh, people uh, and and, uh, <laughs> and this kind of mistake. I think <laughs> people that make mistakes. <laughs> yeah. what? Is that what That's hilarious. Uh, that there's a correlation amazing. in this limited sample size. There's oh. a. Oh, I'm also starving right now. Like I can mm. actually feel my stomach like doing that. I'm in pain, tightening things. So I'm going to also chalk this up to low blood sugar. Um, you know, I think Elena was onto something too. Like I think that indentation, if you want to, you can put the stickers there. Uh. Oh. Or maybe it goes here. No, I think it, you can actually just decorate here on, on the those inside. individuals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, it looks better without. I think. Because then you don't have. To, if you don't want to see, like you know. But, but why else? Like imagine this disc one. Well, they make. Well, imagine they make this disc one sitting at the top. You know yeah. what I mean? Like they here. make ones with uh that aren't that aren't clear though. But so there's I, multiple, so you could just yeah, stack true. them. I think this is. It's probably goes on the outside, and I think it's it's in case you get, a, you know, a model that doesn't have it, uh, isn't clear. Is, there's at least one thing I got right today. 
Um, there's a question on Twitch saying from Showtime Croatia saying, well, uh, do you know something about vintage keyboards? No. Okay. Do I, wait, do I know something? Yeah, do you know something? I would say that a lot of them are mechanical. Okay, so you do know something. I know something. But that's, that's all you know. Well, I'm not a keyboard person, I'm sorry. Yeah. Vintage, oh, vintage. Yeah, vintage, old, old keyboards. Well, no, no he's, he's, Showtime spelled it vintage. And I was vintage? like, oh, I thought that was a brand, but vintage. vintage keyboards. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, but then you're going to have like, what was that old keyboard connector before the PS2? It was like extra large PS2 we have to get old looking. Old Man Gordon in here. Yeah. For that. Old Man I, Gordon. I what's the uh, what was that uh If he appears as a genie, <laughs> I I would Actually, to you laugh. know, I, Gordon I would be a better appear, genie than uh, Will Smith probably. I want him to appear like right here. Mm. You know, just all of a sudden like like Oof. he was like right behind us the whole time. Oof. Uh he was he, like he was laying on the floor just That'd be like That'd super creepy. Oh. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, so to reiterate, the problem that she had was it comes with these standoffs, and you need to have the standoffs between the two boards. And that's why nothing was snapping correctly, yeah. and also why I was having trouble getting it to actually uh. stop rattling. Because I didn't know how far I needed to screw. So, yeah, don't be me, everybody. Or this be is, you. This is the uh, joke I make a lot when I'm around uh, other dancers. Uh, when I don't do. be you. Yeah, because I mean, I get people who compliment my dancing, and I'm like, "This is the Titanic, everybody. You don't, you don't want to follow me down." You know what? Uh, into the deep dark depths. While we're doing this, I'm gonna plug this in. Do you ever have like a public, like a rehearsal? Hmm. Like a rehearsal, like, you know, like I don't do or that like, kind of dancing yeah, actually. Yeah. So it's all partner dancing, which means you just go out social dancing to like, oh, you know. Oh shit. Uh oh. It booted it up. Uh oh. You use language that Disney won't approve of. Whoops. Uh, so, yeah, I plugged it in so I could start um, charging it, mm. and it's starting its boot sequence, I think. Yep, crap, I'm sorry. I skipped a step. No, I mean, it's just... Shame. You would already be on the step if I had done this competently. Shame. Yeah. You're just trying to keep things on time. Crap. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I'm going to put Careful. it right here. I'm going to put it right there. Okay, so it's it's booted up into the uh, the main menu. It's a little bright. It's a little overexposed. Let's see if I can turn on the brightness. Do you want to uh, do that so people can see, or do you want to have them no, watch fine. me uh, flail about here incompetently as I have been for the last? Yeah, keep flailing. Wow, last ten minutes. Um, this is not going to take me five minutes because I'm incompetent. Let me check the backlight brightness. Although. You think that's good, Dan? Like right here. Yeah. Cause this is too bright. It's fine. I can see it. This one? Mm. Be, both of them are fine. I'm going to do this one. Hmm. I like how it's like a little knob. What's that called when the design mimics the real world? Like Apple was all about that with the iPhone when it first came out. When it mimics the real world. Yeah, I remember when Apple first came out with iPhone, a lot of the apps that were in it, like the address book looked like an address book. Like oh. pages. Um, I don't know what There's that's a certain, called. A skeuomorphic design. I think I think that's what it is. Anyway, it, it's like it mimics the real world. It has a little button. Um, all right. So. You have a pair of tweezers. Dude, do I? Because <laughs> my little latch thing here just fell off. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, so these aren't tweezers. That's called pliers, Adam. Yeah, these are pliers. Do you need something? So I the answer was do, do I? The answer is no. Do I? I? Need real tweezers. You need a Swiss Army knife. Not zip ties, I have, not any other jokes the internet's gonna make. I have right, to I'm meeting real myself. Tweezers. What are the jokes people are gonna make? Uh, I hate to stomp on people while they're down, but uh, it's a reference to The Verge. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so this mini Leatherman have tweez tweezers? You can look for these. Okay. No. I don't believe that one does. Nope. I need like an actual Swiss Army knife. <laughs> Oh, it does. Oh, never mind. It does. I, they're not going to be very easy to use, though. But it's probably the best we got. Yeah, this this is not going to be a very easy endeavor. Am 
I going to even be able to put this back. What are you doing with that? Sorry? What, what is that? So huh? this is a little flap that goes up and down. And uh, I think it popped out. So I'm trying to put it back. I don't think it's absolutely necessary to oper to, for this to be operational. We got you found a pair? We got Gordon the tool man to the rescue. Oh boy. The uh, Game Boy boss is, uh, is going to save us. Is he? Yeah. Like an actual real pair of tweezers? He's trying to earn a pizza slice. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, uh... Oh, perfect. Thank oh, you. Look at that. This is exactly what I need. Thank you, iFixit. I'm just going to jump to this camera so we yeah. can see a little bit of him. Our boss. He's not our boss. Crazy Rich Asian Gordon over there. Uh, With your round Nintendo table pizza. Happy. <laughs> Mr. Nintendo. There, you know there's nobody there called Mr. Nintendo, right? Yes, there is. Oh. Can you name... Investors <laughs> coming in to look at the Game Boy prototypes ah. this afternoon. <laughs> Well, thank oh, well. you, Gordon. If only I spoke Japanese. He says, if only he spoke Japanese. I don't know what that would do. I, but I, I would think if any of us look like Mr. Nintendo, that would probably be Gordon. It would make uh, it would make him sound authentic. If there was a Mr. Nintendo, I think it would be... You know how this goes? It would be a uh, Gordon looking. Hey. So I will say the game shell fell asleep. Maybe you should show people that while I'm trying to fix this, because this uh, is one of the reasons why I don't like tiny, tiny things that are capable of falling off. In Chad, Gordon kind of took it to uh, a reminiscent of a Radio Shack of back in the day, and Dude. back in the and and uh, Radio Shack was the bomb. And Destiny fans, says in high school, we used to uh, charge capacitors and throw them to people. Um, but it reminds me of like charge I capacitors. And throw I used them to, I what. That's I remember, hilarious. like, I tried to build uh, a cable descrambler from some instructions I found online That's using awesome. like radio uh, shock parts. Um, it didn't end up working, <laughs> so the cable was still scrambled. Uh, okay, one of those, or what's that thing that you used to be able to put up to a payphone and uh, oh yeah yeah change based, based on the tone. God, there's a certain name for it. Yeah. yeah. They got rid of that by the time I think I, I really, I, I knew about it. Uh, that was one of those things where I always wanted yeah, to do it, yeah. and then I never did it. They did that in the movie Hackers, right? I've never seen the movie Hackers. What? Uh, but it's a classic, Oh, wait, Adam. no, that's the one with the, uh, Angelina, Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie, yeah. God, maybe I have seen that. Yeah. Or Old Radio movie. Shack was, was pretty know. great. When it, Radio Shack was, like, an Radio actual, Radio. like, you know... Uh, I mean, we're, uh, we're, we're, I don't know what you would call it, but like actual parts and by like wire. Now it's terrible. Well, are there even Radio Shacks anymore? The one on market shut down. I think they're... I think they all filed for bankruptcy, didn't they? <sighs> Remember when they rebranded right? for a while called the Shack? So this is supposed to flip down. Tone generator. Here, but I don't... Blue box tone, tone generator? Freaking? In a way that actually will hold and then it's going to rattle around. That's You're a freak. Stop. I'm just kidding. I think I just might leave it off. <laughs> yeah, I mean... It's, it, I don't think we need it, right? It, as long as it plugs. It. I don't think we need it. We'll find out. Yeah. Sorry, Retro Flag. Yeah, they put the incompetent, the, the, hungry person in the driver's seat today. The, the one of ten has been broken. Do you think Gordon is a rechargeable battery guy or an alkaline battery guy? I think he's an alkaline battery guy. No, rechargeable. Gordon? Yeah. What are you? Are you rechargeable or alkaline? Well, no, I, I think he's both for different reasons. Yeah. Because the uh, alkaline one, I know lasts he keeps forever. in his pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To like, what? just if you need. Yeah, he, he carries batteries in his pocket. And not even regular batteries. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to do another, like, what's in Gordon's pocket. Well, yeah, I did it segment. recently. I have a photo. It's He uses the photo bat. He carries the photo batteries around with him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, when um, when Will Smith came in for the full nerd, uh, we were talking about what's in Gordon's pockets with oh, Will. I missed that. Yeah, and he, he exposed. Patrick says there's still a few Radio Shacks still alive. Oh, oh are there? Dang. Interesting. Who would have thunk? Um, so Tech with Sean says he's a solar guy. A solar guy. And Gordon says three types. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Of course. Yeah. Uh, he can be like lead acid. Lead acid? Yeah. Car so, batteries. Yeah. Yeah, you can't really see it. I have a, a photo. All right. Let's see if I'm this I'm predicting works. he's going to. 
So this is this is what Gordon carries in his pockets every day. And this is only possible because he has dude jeans. I wish I had pockets that could carry all that stuff. Well, th I mean, you can so wear cargo the, pants. No, the, one of them's chapstick, the other one I <laughs> think holds stuff. Unless, if, if I could switch to the look to give you, you could wear cargo pants. They don't even really make those for women anymore. <laughs> and still the pockets are like that big from the cargo. Is that a battery? I can't see. Let me see. Is that a battery? I think it's in a case that's oh, waterproof. Oh, no, it's in that plastic case right there. Which one? Right, okay, right. I'm done. Right? Uh, nope, the we'll other see way. If oh, I this actually one? No, the other way. Up. It's a clear plastic case. It's hard to do. That one right there, right there, right there, right there. That's, no. that's the batteries, one? yeah. Here's two. Yeah, anyway. Sorry. Anyway, so I'm done. I, I'm missing one tiny little plastic part from inside because I. Yeah, anyway. We'll see if I completely mess this up. Gonna lock that back in place. And so it's locked in place. We got batteries. batteries. These are rechargeable. Yep. That's yeah, I usually I've rolled that way now. Now I have like a drawer full of rechargeable batteries of all kinds, except for like D, like C and D. Well, I don't really yeah, have they're so rarely used. Yeah. So and I yeah I barely have anything that uses them. So oh, it takes three. I don't think it makes sense to have like rechargeable. That's an big awkward ones. number. Um, yeah, well, the original one took four. Man, that thing would chew through batteries. Oh, I know, but I'm just saying, it's yeah. a little awkward. Okay. Three is an odd number. I don't like it when things use three batteries. It annoys me. All right. Oh, it's booting. Oh, it's booting. Oh, right Switch away. Switch to the over-the-shoulder. Uh, Dan's got the over-the-shoulder. All right. Wow. OTS, as they say yeah. in the biz. Soon the barcade will be fully operational, is what this says. I'm a little worried that it's not going to take the full screen here, though. Uh, oh, I think certain do, games I? do, certain games don't. Yeah. So wait, you you right? There was no power on; it just plugged in. Once you locked it in, I guess it turns on. That's the combo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's why there's a a, sh a safe shutdown script. I think is in so you can just shut it off without like pulling mm. a battery or something. Arno says, "Don't lock it. It's the power switch." Well, thanks for telling us now, Arno. Well, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. a power switch. I thought it is, but it's both. Like you can uh, dislodge oh, it uh, okay. when you yeah. switch it to off. I I'm feel like scared. I would want that thing locked. Oh, when you're not so using you it. Hear something. Oh, it's got like the, I'm uh, just teasing. Like... Oh, cool. Is it all the way up? It's all the way up. Yeah. What is that music? I do like that the volume control is like analog. Mm. And the contrast yeah. control too. Oh yeah, it's oh, nice. Fun. I it's like that. It's a color screen, by the way. Yeah. This music. But 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 it feels it feels kind of like a jazzy a little bit. All right, which what should I play? I don't think there's any games preloaded. I know, but I'm just saying. Actually, like, we'll go into something. That's a like clean look. Games. I I have to say. 565 games available. <laughs> oh, start. Here we go. That's my main menu. Yeah, uh, A is uh, to go into stuff. Do you think? Uh, oh. Okay, this is preloaded with games. But not wait. If someone buys this, they probably don't get that, right? No, I think no. you have yeah. to load it manually. Oh, I just saw Animaniacs. Here we are. There is a game for Animaniacs on the Game Boy. Also, this music. I I don't know how I feel about this music playing in the background. Through the whole thing. Yeah, through the, what? Through the whole time. No, there we go. It's no, gone. like through the whole when the whole time you're in like the menu. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's oh we could probably gosh. turn that off. Uh, so what system is this on? Game Boy. Yeah. Wait, is that is that how it's supposed to look? Probably. I think oh, it's okay. to represent each character saying it. Oh, uh, okay. I was like, wait, why is it tripled? Wait, so this is your jam, Animaniacs? I mean, I'm only for sentimental reasons oh, okay. doing it. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have done Tetris. I wonder if there's a way to get back to Yeah, me. people know Tetris. People know Tetris. Uh, usually it's start and select at the same yeah. time. There you go. There we go. Man, I, I can't believe it's preloaded with all these games. Wow. That's a, it's a Elena Yee VIP status. Yeah, VIP. They did it for the E. Oh, yeah. I like this. As you're scrolling, it starts telling you what section you're in. Oh, that's nice. Oh, uh, yeah. It's really great UI. I Dang. mean, that's retro pie, but just saying, that's cool. Uh, Tetris. 
You know what? Actually, I want to go back up because they have Dr. Dude, Mario. The Tetris music, I was, sometimes I would just let it chill on the music. Just because the dun, music dun, was dun, so dun, chill. Dun, dun. So how is the uh, navigation? Is it slow? Is it fast? No, it feels, it... it feels snappy enough. I mean, it's not super, super fast, but it's not bad. I yeah. would say go to a, a Game Boy Color game if you if there is one. Maybe Which like just a different just a... That would be a different one, though. I'm just going to see. Oops. That music. I don't know about that music. <laughs> there, there's probably a way to just uh, I'm sure, yeah, it. hopefully. Dr. Mario. Oh god, I remember this music too. I w yeah, no, the chill. Yeah. <laughs> can, can you even hear it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so the volume doesn't get super loud. This is as loud as it gets. I it's mean, bad. From, from from what I can hear, it sounds totally fine, yeah. but it's I... Sitting here without microphones... And like, that's on max volume? Actually, yeah, it's on max volume. But, I mean, it does have a head, headphone jack mm. at the bottom, like the original. Uh, I've also heard that uh, plugging in the HDMI... It decreases Wait, the sound? The HDMI? This one does not. Oh, this one does not. Okay, it's the clockwork one. I've heard that plugging the HDMI out of the clockwork one... Um, Steals the juice. Uh, well, because it's, it's got to process it. Oh, uh, so, so then you... So you everything, like, just Switches chugs. over to that. It, well, no, it, it just chugs performance-wise. Oh, wise. okay. Um, so maybe we'll just the do problem, the OTS? I mean, the same problem would probably happen with this, too. I thought that, that I thought the Raspberry Pi Zero had an HDMI on it. No? I don't think so. Huh. Oh, the Raspberry Pi itself? Yes, I think so. Sorry, I'm trying to play a game. <laughs> Oh wait, there's a port on this side. Is that the HDMI? Possibly. See, I never had an original Game Boy, so... You didn't? No. Oh man, this is awesome. I'm trying to remember how, when I got a Game Boy Color, I guess in high school. Yeah? Which color did you go with? I don't remember. The one we still own, that is my wife Lindsay's, uh, is yellow. I, th I think at the time I wanted the clear one. Wasn't there like a clear one? Oh. Yeah, there was a clear one, yeah. yeah. I always liked the idea, which is kind of like this, you know? Kind of that same thing. But I know I had okay. Pokemon Blue. Gonna go back so and check try. this port on the side. Sure. What port? Oh, that's the SD card. Oh, yeah, okay. that's SD card. This is uh, power, power if you want to actually power it. Which then... which is this cable. So the contrast is pretty good. I mean, like, it gets really bright. Yeah, that's you can pretty see bright. That. Yeah, I mean, you're blowing out the screen a tiny bit now. But just... Yeah. So it has a power cable with a little jack. So you don't need the the little the light here. adapter that came with the Game Boy. <laughs> you don't Boy. need the light adapter, yeah. no. <laughs> uh, so go back out, yeah. B, and go to, yeah. Dang, they they loaded everything. Yeah, wow. All right, thank wow. you. Now I'm a, now I'm a little jealous. Yeah. Um, the. Uh, what game should I play? I don't, I've never I never had a Game Boy Advance. You never had a Game Boy Advance. I did not have. Oh, I never had. Do Castlevania: Ari of Sorrow. Ooh. I think that was one of the more most, most beautiful like, like. Uh, graphically, for the Game Boy Advance. Um, so I will say I've I've also heard people say that there's no indication of when the battery's running out. Uh, so the whole thing just kind of locks up or like starts to jitter. Which to be fair, the original Game Boy did not as well. Or no, it did have the, a light. The, I guess there was the a light. light. The yeah, light that's would true. turn at that's some true. point. That's true. It did have But it's it was little, like it's, it's a little uh, It's a little choppy. Yeah. You can hear you it. You can hear it. Yeah, you can definitely hear it. Is this the same uh, Raspberry Pi power of like the regular like, no. Okay. No, so this one is running at a slightly lower uh, clock speed, and it has half the amount of RAM as the Raspberry Pi 3. Mm. So I think that's probably why we're having a little bit of trouble here with this. Could also be the ROM, I suppose. Possibly. Oh, I think the pizza's here. Pizza time. Oh, no! I accidentally hung up on it. They're not, I don't think it'll call, call back. Can we all see this? Yeah. Crap. Looks, looks pretty good. Just run out there. Uh, yeah. Do you want to meet me at the board? No, I think it's funnier if you get the pizza and we hear you. Oh, he might be down in the lobby. Alright, if I start to hear interference, I'll, I'll mute you. My name is Soma Cruz, and I'm a high school exchange student studying abroad in Japan. Okay, uh, I will I mean, come I out. Are you in the, the lobby or on the sixth floor? 
Wow, this is a lot of backstory. Oh, okay, I will. Uh, I will come down. That is a lot of text, but it looks it looks pretty overall. It looks really good. So, do you think? Uh, just kind of jumping back to that last that last kind of question. Um, do you think this one could handle like what level of games? Like console, I should say. Um, I'm gonna guess. I would personally, I wouldn't go beyond this. Mm. Or like, I'm I'm gonna try a Super Nintendo game next just to see how it feels. Um, but even that might be a little too much for it. We'll find out. Oh no! What's happened to Nina? Oh no! Soma that passed out. Who's the pretty boy? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> His name is Genya Arikado. Cool. Classic. Skip the introductions. I have a few questions and I need answers now. <laughs> you got a voice, a voice actor, act, act them. Why have you come here, Dan? <laughs> This is so crazy. We're in Dracula's castle, because of course that's what happens. <laughs> I love this. Huh? Dracula's castle? Are you telling me we are in Europe? <laughs> <laughs> we are inside the solar eclipse. Solar eclipse? Okay, I'm, trying, I'm gonna hmm. just start fast forwarding. Well, I guess that I makes sense. I want to see how the actual gameplay feels like. Oh, here we go. Ah, that makes sense. Score, yeah. Dracula would come out during the solar eclipse. Of course. The sound is not great. Damn, protect the girl. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad to match to this text. Oh I just gosh. want to see it. This I, is so much of it like this I have to get through. I think Adam did that on purpose. I don't... I don't miss this about video games when you just can't like quickly... Skip to the end. To yeah. You. Actually, okay. I don't really feel like it's sluggish or anything. It's more I actually feel like the buttons itself are not good. Are like a little bit delayed in response. Mm. But I don't feel like the game itself is slow to respond if that makes sense. Would you say this the sound I mean I guess the it's part of this though, game. Is having problems. Back. Ooh, with pizza. Pizza. <laughs> It does not sound good. It does not sound good, but the, it plays okay-ish. It's a little sluggish. Yeah, Destiny fan yeah, says it might sluggish. be an emulation issue. They remember emulating these yeah. games on a weaker machine. Yeah, it's... Okay, I'm gonna quit this. We're gonna experiment and see, like, if we can do uh, Super Nintendo games. Yeah. Oh, this does have tweezers. Yeah, but they're, it's just hard to use because of the way it's set up. Pizza. That blows me up, because Castlevania is, like, one of my favorite series of all time. Cody. Oh, it's just the Super Mario. I wonder what the shoulder buttons do. That volume sounds Ooh. pretty loud now. There we go. Well, it's getting loud here. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it made me it was like. Yeah. So I'm using the shoulder buttons to scroll through now. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so I found a very detailed chart of Raspberry Pi models. Are you still muted? Oh. Hello, hello. There you go. There we go. All right, I'm gonna have to hurry up because I don't want us to hit YouTube's uh, okay. cutoff time. But I'll do an NES game real quick, and then I'll do a Super Nintendo game real quick. I found a very deta detailed chart of the Raspberry Pi models, hmm. <laughs> like the versions. Uh, oh wait, I turned the It's sound very, off. very comprehensive. Oh, I have no sound. Uh, not until you start playing. Oh, that's right. That's how it was. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get flagged. Just too late. Ooh, too slut. Is that true? They it's flag for the song? Oh, it's, um, the music, yeah. Uh, it's gonna sluggish. recognize the music. Is it sluggish? Yeah. Yeah, I'm having a little trouble here. There's gotta be ways to maybe like boost it or something. I wonder. Like here, like, if, I don't know if you wanna try it real quick. Let's see if we can. Can you feel that? 
Hold your hold your hand away and then press press the jump button. Or be somewhere safe. It's it, not too bad. It's, it, it's, it's mostly on the deep end. It has honestly. more to do with the navigation than the, actually the the machine itself, like the actual hardware. Yeah, it's almost like it, like if you were to play the PAL version, everything runs a little slower, right? Yeah. So I don't think I even want to try a Super Nintendo game if a Nintendo game is like this. But. Yeah, YouTube will cut us off at three hours, so we'd have to restart it at three hours. All right. So, well, that's that's that. We right. did it. So I can just do the safe shutdown and just. Uh, no, I don't know. Peter wants to see. Do it. I'm turning it, it off. You can just kill it. Peter Jensen says, "I want to see Elena play Kaizo Mario," which I don't know what Kaizo Mario huh. was. How does this work? Oh, that is the safe shutdown. Uh, cool. That's weird that it, it it it's also the locking mechanism. Oh, sorry, I didn't even realize I wasn't showing that clearly. Sorry, everybody. Oh, that's fine. But it's off now. All right. That was interesting. So we're we're flipping. We're switching and I smell Flippity food. floppity. I smell food. Food in the house. Uh, Adam here. Adam's back. With the clockwork pie. Uh, I put the autofocus on, so hopefully it will autofocus. Is it looking focused? Yeah, it looks looks all right to me. Uh, so it looks like it went to sleep. I hit the power button. There we go. Oh my god, the mango flavor is disgusting. Uh, all right, so I haven't done anything to this. I think I have to manually add some games. Um, so I brought up the forum. I, I couldn't find, there is a way somewhere to uh, figure out how to add games. But I think you have to do it via Wi-Fi. I'm not sure. Uh, I, fa I looked in the instructions in the actual box and they don't have anything. Oh, here are the forums. Um, Firmware and apps. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go to the games, backlight brightness. That's probably fine, right? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and one more brighter. Yeah, there? Yeah, I'd go with that. Right. Um, so it sees the storage. So it looks like the actual system itself takes up 3.8 gigs out of this. Cool. That's pretty hefty. Yeah, it's pretty hefty. I mean, it is. Linux. Mm. Oh, I need to get on Wi-Fi. That might be a problem. Mm. You have the, oh, that's right, huh. Does this have a Wi-Fi uh, component in it? Okay, so we're not gonna, yeah, we're not gonna be able to get to our work Wi-Fi. You don't think so? You can use no, the- No, because uh, it doesn't give me all the options. Well, you can use the- uh, Gordon's? Boxes. Yeah. Uh, Gordon's Wi-Fi? Yeah. I, have, uh, I know the password, so you, I can do it. Okay, yeah. yeah. Select Ooh, it. Crap. Here. Wait. Done. No. I got it. No. 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 Wrong one. No. Wrong one. No. Oh, these buttons feel so much better. Oh, how do I go back? Why? Uh-oh. Uh no, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now this is right. Links this. Okay, so All right. I want... Sorry, everybody. We got to, you know, I think hit A to, oh no, this is B to enter. It's not responding. Oh, I'm locked up. Yep. I just had the death touch today. I think it's because we tried to enter a password for Maple Movie and oh. it's not working. Because it's probably trying to bring up that uh, web UI to log in. Yeah, we have corporate Wi-Fi that is not great with consumer devices. So I'm not gonna blame the clockwork pie yet. 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 Um, I like how it randomly has Japanese on the loading screen. Do you like that? I mean, I think it's funny. <laughs> funny haha. -ha. Yeah. Funny like, huh, that's interesting. I like, ha. Huh. It says, welcome to clockwork pie, happy hacking. That beer actually has a really like fruity, like smell to it. Uh, yeah, the, the 1500. It's dry hopped. Dan, if you, you've tried the 1500. Yeah. yeah. I like it because it's hoppy without the bitterness. Okay, so what am I choosing here? Uh, go all the way to the left. Dry hops oh, means no, that like during the fermentation part, back. they throw a bunch of more hops in there, so you get a lot more of that like uh, that floralness, um, especially in the aroma. 
Is it just not responding? It's taking a Oh, okay. There we go. All right. Now she's putting in the password. We had to reboot it. There's a light on the back. I wonder if that would, would change, tell you your battery power, too? Uh, no, I think that only lit up when I plugged it in mm. to say that it's charging. Mm. Um, I can't tell if it's going to change color or not. Isn't there a dash in there? Hey. <laughs> no! <problem>. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the button layout on the menus is a little awkward. I mean, anytime, yeah, anytime you're trying to type using just a D-pad, no, I did it again. It's never gonna it be up. good. It's locked. Yeah, because I, I tried to, I put in the wrong password, and it's trying to connect, and I think it's just like locked up. Well, yeah, it's like uh, some of them are, um, like A is this to confirm, is B is rate. to, to go back, mm. and some of them A, like B is to confirm, and A is to go back. Does it tell you? Uh, yeah, usually has the prompts, but Elena's working on a timetable here, so she's screwing it up. God, Elena. Jeez. What happens when I have low blood sugar? Just kidding. Um, oh, they even oh, okay. tell you what they, they even did for tell you me. already. Yeah. Uh, okay, interesting. So did, they did load it with games? Yeah, oh, they, yeah. They, they, they made yeah. it a These items, kind yeah. of uh, solution. These items are not included in the final product, but have been included for review purposes. Raspberry Pi Zero, micro SD card, OTG cable, mini HDMI adapter. Oh, that's what this is. Should I switch to the Oh, close? no, this isn't right. That's weird. Hmm? Wait, so it does have, how do you get the HDMI out of this? The board does, but I don't think well, there's access to But why would they give you an adapter? To, I don't know. Open it up, see if you can access them. Huh. Unless you're meant to. It froze on me again. I didn't even touch it. Huh, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. It, it keeps freezing. Either that was just slow, slower than I expect to respond. It could be that too. Uh, and I think we need to get Wi-Fi to be able to get games on. You know what, first let, I'm gonna check to see if there's games here, loaded. I'm gonna let you do it, and I'm just going to, I don't think- Can you write can. down the yeah, password? I'm say, yeah, I'm gonna do it on the here, because I don't oh, think okay. people can see the screen. Uh, Dan, you can show this if you want to while we're... All right, I'll go over the shoulder. There we go. So first I'm gonna check to see may maybe they did load games on here. So when you go into retro games, looks like it has MAME, GBA, Nestopia, PCSX. Okay, so no, no, no games. It says please upload data over Wi-Fi. Yeah. Um, so, you see this? so right now to go back, that's B is to run, A is to add favorite, Y delete, X to scan. I guess I have to just hit menu. That's weird. Nestopia, B is to enter. Yeah, so the, the buttons are kind of all over the place. But it does, I should I should also said, um, it does pre come pre-installed with a couple games, uh, Neon including Neon Cat. Um, B is to enter. I don't know what kind of game Neon Cat is. Well, the sound works. Oh, it's got a little bit of that. Uh, it's not running very well for a pre-installed. <laughs> Ooh, did you see that? Uh, yeah, so... As I was adjusting the volume, it doesn't get very loud. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get out of Neon Cat. I love Neon Cat, and that was not a good Neon Cat. Uh, you gonna try one more time for the Wi-Fi, or you just? Oh, look, there's Cave Story. I heard there's Cave Story Free Doom. 
that's built in. Reload UI. There's a music player. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to see if there's anything preloaded real quick. Oh, through RetroArch? Yeah. Oh, you have to load your own cores. Shit, I didn't download any cores. All right, well. All right, so let's try to connect to the Wi-Fi. Quit retro. See, there A was enter. <laughs> yeah. Right? It, it, so it's kind of all over the place. Uh, I was trying to go too quickly. So here B is enter. So Wi-Fi. All right. I like how we're showing the names of all our Wi-Fi. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Links is. Yeah, I'll switch to your wide camera. It's See, like, it's, it's like it up. locks up. Let's, let's okay. give it a second. So I, I don't know if it's this or if it's our links is. Wi Fi sometimes just takes a while to connect. Well, no, but it's not it's even connected. Like, I can't even go up. in to add uh, the password. Can I see it? Can I switch to the camera? Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, whatever. So it's mm. literally just log. I can't do it. I I selected Linksys, which is this router that w that we use in here, and it's just, it's not even. I can't do anything. I can't even go back. Can't change the volume. Huh. Hmm. And I think it's because we might have tried to connect to one of the other ones before. Yeah, and so I'm wondering if there's a way to... Forget everything? Yeah. Yeah, I might just have to set it up at home. Why info? I, I, I mean, yeah. No, it's just, yeah, I think it's just hanging up because it, it's trying to connect and... It's our corporate Wi-Fi. Yeah. Because once you go into the Wi-Fi, it then it, it, it sorry, tries to automatically everybody. connect? No, I, I went into Grapescape first. So oh. I, when I tried to hit Grapescape, it, it was like... It was giving me some problems, and I think it just keeps trying to connect to Grapescape. And you can't forget, yeah. like, can you res is there a reset on the settings? It doesn't look like it. You can, like, rescan, but, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll go into the settings. Maybe I can reset all the settings. Yeah. That's a good idea. Try that. Uh, if not, well, whatever. We're approaching the end anyway. I screwed everything up, as no, you usual. Didn't. No. Elena no. ruins everything. Uh, you can switch back to over the shoulder if you want. Uh, I'm just going to go in the menu and see if there's a... Uh... So it's even hanging up right here. See that? It's a little... I wonder if it's because the power is it's plugged into power. It's a little warm if that's affecting Look at this. There's power options. Server. I'm going to go to performance. It is pretty... Yeah. Maybe see that'll that'll help. Oh, A is back, <laughs> but it's not working. Oh, it no, just, there it is. It's just sluggish. It it's just a, takes little a little sluggish. It hmm. just takes a little bit, I think. Maybe try about. That might have some kind of. Nope. Sometimes there's a reset option. Yeah. Uh, a is back. And we have tried switching it on and off already. A couple times. Huh. Interesting. I mean, maybe there's an update and it's just like we can't. Yeah, but it's getting Wi Fi. Yeah. Because I have, to be fair, I have had this sitting on my desk for months, so. Um, yeah, but you think it would work. Yeah. I'll play some Cave Story. Let's see how it runs. It, I mean, hopefully it's, it runs well because it's built in. Oh, oh, sound, yeah. sound, That's it pretty sounds pretty responsive, good. yeah. Should this one theoretically be more powered, powerful than the RetroPie or the, uh, the Pi no, version? It, it looks like it looks like it's it's about the same. If I'm just looking at pure specs, uh, it in theory should run a little bit better using the same type of games because it has um, one gig mm. um, for RAM, but. I mean, that just also depends on how well optimized it is. Whoops. <laughs> I have died. Uh, I have actually, I've 
I've only tried Cave Story once. I know a lot of people are like super passionate about it. Oh. <laughs> well, it's okay. <laughs> I, something I've played a ton of is Doom, so I'm actually kind of curious to see how Free Doom is. So what is Free Doom? But if someone's buying this, they want to like play ROMs. Thing. Probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh, nice. Oh no, I guess this isn't the original team. I mean, it actually plays pretty well. Yeah, it looks solid. Oh. You know what's interesting, I just thought of, this doesn't have like shoulder buttons. Can you increase the volume anymore? It's kind of soft. Oh, that's not right. Oops. Oh, funny. Crap. What are you doing? Because <laughs> well, shift on the other one, shift and the volume. Oh, no. No. I just screwed everything. No. Shift up? Maybe shift with the butt arrow? No. Can you just press the, the volume up? No, because it's <laughs> select and start, and then oh. shift is volume. Oh, no. At least that's how it was in the other stuff. Oh, now you're back. Uh, Uh, whoops, all right. Quick game. Press Y to quit. All right. Um, so what are you thinking? Um, we did find yeah. out a couple of answers to our questions, which is they both have color screens. We both, we had assumed that they would be monochrome. These are color screens, yep. They are color screens. The uh, contrast and sharpness on them are actually pretty good. Yeah, I've heard, so one, one complaint I've heard about this is that the, the sub-pixel arrangement is actually honeycomb. So instead of the pixels Weird. being stacked, they're I offset. See oh. that, sorry. The, the, instead of the pixels being stacked on top of each other, they're offset a little bit. So on some that is games, weird. you don't get straight lines, you get kind of a wavy line. Mm. So it's not like super accurate. It's hard to tell like here. Okay. Like I've seen like macro shots of uh, the sub-pixel This sub -pixel does tell you battery indication, though, which is nice. In the main screen right there, you can actually see a little battery icon, I think. Yeah, yeah. Your uh, sleeve is oh, blocking itself. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so it's like Android, where at the top, you can you get like, you know, the Wi-Fi indication. I think... Um, it's, it's time, battery, yeah. Wi-Fi, yeah. volume. Uh, Bluetooth. And Bluetooth. Yeah. So I wonder what you would Bluetooth, what would you use Bluetooth for? Controller? Maybe a, a separate a different controller. Um, but yeah, the battery, I unplugged it, so the, the battery, yeah, yeah. Is, is fully charged, so I'm going to assume it came pretty fully charged. Yeah, that kind of sucks about the Wi-Fi. Let's try it one more time, see if I can get into anything. Nah, it just, it locks up. I, I think I just have to do it from home. Yeah, when it can't connect to anything. Yeah, yeah. when it doesn't have the pre-installed. All right, well. Try to figure out how to delete. One. All right. Well, so we did it. Which, let's call it. I, again, it took longer than uh, we anticipated because I yeah, the, the up. no the the building on this one was was what I thought it was going to be. Honestly, but actually, you got through it I would say the worst part was like having to file down the the plastic pieces. Like yeah. if I would have had more time, I probably would have took taken more time to really get mm -hmm. those edges down and like perfect. Yeah, I also think it would have um, actually taken you more time if you had been by yourself because basically what I was doing was yeah, going through instructions, basically saying like, "Here's what you need next." Yeah, uh, I may be inflating my importance in this project. But no, it, it I do think it would help. have added a little more time to it, though. Yeah, but I, I, I mean, I do like the idea, the modularity. I like the, like the the controls feel well when they work. Uh, the the D-pad. The buttons on this I like, or the D-pad on this I actually like a little better. Really? Than this yeah. One. I mean. I mean, it's a little bigger. D-pads are hard. I know, but it's a little bigger. It's a little like it feels. I kind of don't like either. This one, but this one was more responsive in some yeah. ways. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know what I gotta say is somebody with larger hands, I I do like that this is wider. Yeah. Uh, I like the I the width of this. It's not too much wider, but it's enough. Yeah. It just, even for, I don't even have large hands, and even for me, it feels a little like, I feel like I have like gigantic paws. So let's, let's go to this this one again. Uh, just the physical differences. So it's it's pretty close. 
when, when, when you're looking at the height. But the width, this one's just a little wider in depth. The, the Raspberry Pi one is definitely a lot, uh, a lot thicker. So the Raspberry Pi version was already preloaded. Yep. Do you with, with retro? Do you Pi. have any thoughts on like, you know, as far as installing games, which one might be easier or more difficult? I mean, I know how it is to do a retro Pi. Insta and so, like putting the games, like it's the, really easy. Yeah, well, it's and really also RetroPie has cores built in, so you don't need to load cores and games. Yeah. This one, the RetroArch looked to be like you had the to, to download bones, the cores as you had well. To, like how to build it all up yourself. Yeah. Uh, if you use RetroArch on on this, so I would say, well, I don't know, because this one, I mean, you you can probably do it over Wi-Fi, which is how I I was doing my Raspberry Pi. Or you could actually take the memory card out and put games in the folder, appropriate folder. This one, you can't do that. You have to do it from the web interface. So I would say probably the clockwork is going to be harder to load games up and configure. But you probably have way more customization uh, uh, just because it's I, running Linux. I don't think there's a price for the GPI, or GPI case. Uh, yeah, if you hit buy. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Someone was saying that the GPI link was broken. Yeah, it's, I don't. I think it's not even. Oh, that's weird. The maybe other day, it's not out maybe yet. go to Amazon shop. Maybe that's where I saw. I it. don't see it. I'm just gonna confirm that it's actually sixty dollars because that seems actually pretty inexpensive. But I don't huh. see it. I think we, that we just might have an advanced. Well, well the, no, there's a link in the description, the YouTube description. I thought I put a link there. But is that the link that? Um, or does it just go to the web page? Hmm. Well, yeah, okay, well maybe it's not available. I will say that, I mean, the NES Pi case, 24, the Mega Drive one, 24, since this has a built-in screen. I mean, 60 would be a cool price, but I don't know. It's, it's, it's between cheap. 40 and 60. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. Yeah, I, I don't think it was more than 60. So, like, you get the... You get an SD card and you get a... Well, no, the SD card's separate. Everything... No, that's what I mean. Yeah, oh, yeah. Let me finish. Oh, so you get okay. an SD card and you get a Raspberry Pi, so that adds on like another 30 bucks. So you're looking at maybe under $100 for this project. It's not bad. Yeah, it's where this bad. is, you know, more than 100 but there's more you can do with it if you want to get deeper. Like I said, it, this is meant a lot for, you know, STEM and people who, who want to have the option to build their own stuff, run their own games, do basic coding and things mm -hmm. like that which I'm not really into if I'm just going to do retro stuff. Uh, it's, okay. yeah, it's a little different. So this was supposed to be kind of almost like a build-off. So which one do you prefer of the two? I mean, this was fun to build. I, I mean, it was, you know. That was actually a yeah, I yeah. Agree. That was actually a fun build. Like, you're actually kind of, like, plugging this the stuff mm -hmm. in and seeing where it goes and how, you know, this isn't bad either, but it's pretty basic. I mean, you're just putting the yeah. board Unless in. Unless you're me and you're uh, accidentally <laughs> losing, Breaking stuff. losing pieces. Yeah. Ah! So, in terms of building, I mean, yeah, building it was pretty fun. And if you're going to customize it, if you're going to literally 3D print your own pieces like that, that would be, rad. That would be pretty cool. Super I would cool. dig that. But I'm, I've actually never 3D printed. Uh, Arno says the GPI is not uh, GPI is not released yet. Uh, end of May, beginning June. Oh, okay. So wow. everyone got it. It's supposed to be seven dollars, seventy dollars. Okay, <laughs> seven dollars, seventy. Wow. Okay. It's still not bad. It's not still, bad. But you. So it's a hundred dollar project, essentially. Yeah. You know, so I, as I was looking into this stuff, there's actually other options too, and people, people who have tried all of the options, like have this other one that they say is kind of the best one. So okay. I, I'm going to try to get that one in and 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 maybe maybe do like a, a final comparison of mm. like, hey, here here's the best way to do handheld held emula emulation. Uh, depending on your scenario, so yeah, yeah. and I'll, also I'm going to be doing some actual play. Yeah, time. I'm going to load it up with games. I mean, this one already has games. That one's ready to I'm going to go. I'm going to load this up with games, play it, see see how it runs. Uh, and if you're interested, you can always tweet at me, uh, Adam P Murray, uh, and you're a morphing ball. Yeah, like right? uh, Super Metroid, not Super Metroid. as in like shoot it in my veins. Is, no, yeah, uh -uh. <laughs> morphing ball. Like a ball that morphs. The way I pronounce it, though, everyone can't tell. Morphin ball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mighty morphin ball. Mighty mighty morphin balls. Morphine. Uh, as opposed to yeah. morphine. Uh, 
Cool. Well, we did it. Uh, I think it's time to eat some pizza. Oh I think so, too. Ready for what do you think? What do you think? Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Yes. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, we've got a full, a special full nerd coming up uh, maybe this week, so Ooh. tune in for other live people. Uh, we've got your build series that we're still working on, mm -hmm. the, the Twitch thing uh, that's that's coming along. Uh, we got some uh, other stuff uh, in the pipeline. Gordon's got the review for the, the laptop that we did an unboxing for. The MSI one? The, yeah, the GS65. Mm -hmm. um, very cool laptop. Yeah. So yeah, keep coming back. Uh, and thank you, Dan, for controlling yeah. the hey, you're welcome. horizontals. Uh, and yes. thank you to, uh, to Drake's for the amazing 1500 because uh, it is really good. Uh, anyway, so Dan, uh, why don't you go ahead and hit that fade to black button and take us out. Bye, everyone. Oh, that's not the fade to black button. <laughs>